Okay, welcome everybody. We are finally doing the thing. We're finally starting up Dwell V2, which uh, released a few weeks ago, has gone through a couple of patch releases since then. Patch 2 dropped, I believe, last Saturday or Sunday, late last Saturday, I think. Um, there were lots and lots of fixes across, uh, especially the first patch, but a, a good handful in the second as well. Uh, it seems like things have uh, stabilized reasonably now, so we're going to give this thing a go. Now, I did play Dwell V1, which was only the first episode, about a year ago. I think it was March of last year. Uh, it was really good then. Um, clearly, a lot of work had already gone into it then. From what's in like the trailer and stuff for Dwell V2, um, and just like seeing and hearing tidbits here and there, uh, clearly, even more work has gone into this version, which consists of an entire second episode on top of episode one. And episode one has had some considerable changes, at least to some of the levels in it as well. Um, I did try to skim through my old playthrough a little bit a couple weekends ago. Um, I'm not going to remember it all super well, but hopefully I'll remember some of the important bits to, like at least be able to perceive, like, what what has changed in this version. Um, but there's gonna be... I don't know how much this affects E1, but there's definitely been, like, there's gonna be, gonna be some new weapons, there's gonna be some new enemies, uh, so there's gonna be some surprises. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's start with the README and, uh, get into this thing shortly thereafter. Um... So, we've got the installation. You will need a copy of Quake, a supported source port, see below. And then, of course, you extract the content with the directories preserved. Um, I, I already have it launched back here, of course. Um, source ports, a modified Quake engine with increased limits, transparency support, and BSP2 support is required. We recommend the latest Iron Will. Uh, actually, did I... I did not fill in my uh, stream title correctly. I'm not playing with Iron Whale, but I am playing with VK Quake, which should be fine. Let me just fix that everywhere, since I'm currently lying in my stream title. Because, force a habit, I replace only the things that I need to replace, and then I forget. Um. Alright, that's fixed everywhere. Um, and it does say, also tested for compatibility in VK Quake and Quake Spasm, actually. Uh, it is highly recommended you update your source port of choice to its latest release before playing, otherwise expect bugs. I think I'm on, like, the last I checked, I'm on, like, the second to latest release on VK Quake. The latest release added mouse in menus, and I was like, alright, the last time I played a source port that added mouse in menus, I hated it, so I don't want that. Um, hopefully it'll be new enough. Other source ports, including the Quake re-release, may have game-breaking issues and are not recommended. Alright, the story. Following the destruction of the hideous Shub Nigarath, you scoured infinite dimensions, a guardian against her deep-rooted rot. Decades passed, and with the whispers slowly subsiding, you were finally laid to rest. A shallow, fitful slumber awaited you for the rest of your days. That was until now. Being rustled from your rest, the voices whisper yet again. Yog sothoth has tangled his tendrils in your reality, constructing legions to his side to reanimate long-dead gods, elements of life itself taken and twisted to their will in the hope he shall return to a physical form to consume yet another reality. You must yet again become the Guardian to take down what dwells beneath. Credits! Alex with a K, lead composer. Also, VTuber aficionado, but that's not listed here. Um, Ball, level design, art, and 3D models. BMFBR for Quake C. Dan's for 3D models, sounds, and art. Fairweather is the project lead, has done level design, 3D models, Quake C, and sounds. Greenwood, level design and textures. Uh, Henry, aka H4724, uh, on level design. JCR on level design and sounds. Jesley on level design. Creator on Quake C and 3D models. Macon on art, of course. Marky on level design, sounds, music, and art. He's all over the place. Um, that was Marky. Uh, Mazu on level design, Pinchy on level design, Poolboy Q on level design, Toying on art, Chamblernaut on Quake C, and Void Force on level design, textures, and Quake C. 
Additional credits to Lunar and Sock, Metal Slime, Dware, Richard Whitelock, Raven Software, Digital Extremes, Lobotomy Software, Crow Team, and most likely many others. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of credits, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering where some of those actually come in, unless they're just kind of, like, cited as influences. Because I could definitely believe that. Special thanks to Lunarin for the amazing copper mod, which Dwell uses as a base, and for Underdark Overbright, which together with Scampi reinvigorated the love for episodic content in a lot of us. Thank you for all the copper assistance during development, and for the design insights, which made the levels as good as they are today. Top lads. All who play tested or sent in crucial bug reporting. There's way too many to specifically name, but you all had a significant part in making Dwell a success. Crow team for Sirius Sam and for the extra models ripped by Dan's. Okay, I guess I guess models are used from it. Uh, Sock for his amazing texture set, and Muck for emotional support. So that that is your readme. Um, there are no map specific readmes. I forget whether the game, whether it mentions the credits for each map as we get into them, but I, I, like, I definitely recall knowing, like, who did which map in the first episode, so I think that might be a thing. Uh, so we'll see once we get into it. Um, but yeah, I've been, uh, <laughs> there's unfortunately no, like, tags on the soundtrack. Um, well, okay, to be fair, I'm using the soundtrack straight from the episode's folder. I believe Alex with a K has... At least the episode two soundtrack on his Bandcamp might have might have all of it. I'm not sure, but I think I imagine there were multiple contributors, so uh, at least his part should be on his Bandcamp, I suppose. Um, so that's a thing you can uh, you can look into. I have not looked into that actually. I've been uh, lagging behind on that, so that's why there's no tags because this is just how it is in the uh, in the folder itself. But I figured we would open with that because there isn't all original soundtrack to this pack. Like, th this pack is seriously, like, I give lots of high marks to, like, Underdark, Overbright, and Epics of Enmity for being, like, you know, modern, like, benchmarks for this is how you map for Quake. Um, this, this is, like, I, I shouldn't, like, throw shade at, you know, I, I shouldn't, like, downrank or, you know, I shouldn't be stack ranking these or something. And I shouldn't be, uh, I, sh I shouldn't be, like, casting any of those previous things in, uh, a any kind of negative light, but, like, this, I expect this is gonna smack a lot of things out of the water in terms of just how much effort and polish has gone into this. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Omega, hey, Mopey. Um, the always in demand and always posting, uh, VTuber gifts, Alex with a K, yep. Uh, I've noticed he's been very active in the Discord lately. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, lots of lots of good folks working on this. Let's get into it, and let's see how much I remember and how much strikes me as different as we get into episode one. Uh, so, well, actually, before we even get into episode one, start map, which is completely different. The start map did not look at all like this. And, uh, unfortunately you can't get my, like, completely, you know, blind playthrough reaction of this because I, I booted up the start map to test this a couple weeks ago and I was like, whoa. Like, the, yeah, the, we, we no longer have the, you know, the exterior desert setting for the start map. And we also have lore right here. You have been torn from your restless slumber, your blood-caked chestplate still reeking of the charred remains of the hideous Shub-Nigarath. It's impossible to tell how long it's been since your victory against her, since you fragged that abomination from the inside out. Everything was kind of a red blur. Also, I'd like to point out, this text does not print in one letter at a time at a rate of like one character per three seconds. It actually comes in immediately and you get to advance it at your own pace. That is amazing. Every every new pack from here on out that needs to use text for lore should do this. <laughs> Flex can't handle the lore. I, meanwhile, I can't handle the handling of the lore. The runes are all you have left. They thrum against your hip in idle readiness. They are eldritch charms urging you forward, pulling you deeper. We just got an autosave after the lore and the start map. That's... They they were prepared for Flecht not being able to handle the lore. Uh, well, that looks like it would kill me. Okay, 
like get up here? I'm, I'm already seeing what trouble I can get myself into. Because you know there's gotta- there's five secrets in the start map, dude. What the hell? We could be here all night. Is there something up there? That sure looks like there's something up there. There is something up here. Well, I found one of the secrets. Bonus map. Complete episode 2 to unlock. Okay, we got bonus maps. Actually, I think I remember seeing uh, Comfy by the Fire's stream title mentioning bonus maps at some point, so I guess that's what that is. Oh, right. Okay. Getting ahead of myself. So we've got easy, normal, and hard. They are color-coded. They have text on them. About as clear-cut as you could possibly get. Uh, there are rocks here, so I guess I'm not going that way. Well, I didn't mean to do that. So again, I will be, I always play things on normal, but, and, and I know that things get pretty hectic at the end of this episode. We'll see if that's been tuned at all. I remember that was something that gave me a run for my money. The scary thing is I actually didn't remember it until I watched my video, and then I was like, oh yeah, this thing. Why are I thought I already have runes. Didn't it say I had the runes already? What the hell? Uh, there's something down here. Now. This feels very Doom 64, this texture here. How many times have I said things look very Doom 64? Alright, don't get yourself killed. Uh, that's not gonna work. Alright. I am not sure what being down there does for me. <laughs> no, we don't skip lore. Place the runes atop the pedestals. They just told me I didn't have a rune. That says acquire a rune. Also, wait a minute. This is version 2.2. We have had two patch releases, and nobody pointed out that acquire is spelled wrong. Acquire has a C in it. Alright, we need a patch 2.3 now. Alright, so this is cool, because this is... This rune seems broken for now. Ah, because those are the episodes that aren't ready yet. That's funny. Uh, alright, so there's a slipgate beyond the- yeah, there's slipgates beyond each of them. So these are going to be your four episodes. So when it says acquire a rune, actually even if I look at my status bar at the bottom, there are different symbols there, I think. So it may be that they're talking about new runes. It's like, uh, it's like, what's the password Iggy sent me? And then you get thrown through a trapdoor because they changed the password. At least that's how the Garfield comic goes. Uh, that was weird. Felt like I got kind of stuck there for a sec. Yeah, okay, so these are the episodes, but we got stuff to look for in this start map. <laughs> so, Omega, I can't say I've done that with any PR reviews, but I can say, on the subject of finding one letter wrong in a message, um, I once reviewed a pull request that had, like, that was adding a bunch of, it was porting a bunch of color codes from some other, like, color set, and exactly one of the color codes was wrong. It had a single character typo in it, and we're talking, like, there was, like, a hundred color codes in this pull request, and I found it. And that was what inspired one of my teammates to get me a sign that's, that says, first name, you shall not pass, last name, with a silhouette of a wizard on it. Also, I do need to, like, make a note to bring up the, the typo later. I mean, I feel bad even bringing it up, but, like, yeah, you know, the next time there is an update, it is something they can update. So there's got to be some reason to be down here, right? Like, this can't just be here for no reason. Hang on, what's over there? There's a lot of exploring to do in the start map. Another bonus map. Okay, that's an episode one bonus map. So, I don't know if that's... 
I, I'm assuming bonus map and secret map are two different things, although the bonus maps are kind of secrets here, too. And we now effectively have two out of five secrets. I should also look around at... Is there anything, like... Are any switches? Or anything notable on this side? Seems like it was just that one side. You know what we need to look at? I didn't look at the other side. I didn't really look at the other side of this passage. Yeah, we can do something here, right? There's something in there. So that was the, the side I couldn't get over before, but we can get over from this side. If there's anything in there, too. Another bonus map for episode two. Also, can't help but notice that there's like a, a gap in the ceiling there, but I guess that's nothing. All right, so that's three out of five secrets. I imagine one of them will be for nightmare difficulty. See anything interesting through there? Not really. Oh yeah, and then and then Mac doesn't take capitalization into account by default, and if you turn that on, if you turn K sensitivity on in the file system, it notoriously breaks a bunch of Mac apps. Okay, I should probably, like, actually find out if this kills you or warps you. Seems like it probably kills you. Yes, it kills you after, like, five whole seconds. Alright, so we found the thing up there. I don't see anything over there, really. Can there be anything, like, behind you? There's something under there. Perhaps nightmare-related. Get down there? Not like that. What can I land on to get down there? Is there anything I can do from here? It'd be real mean if one of the secrets was like on the elevator as you're coming down. Wait, when you say no folders, what do you mean? I mean, like, directories? It's always had directories. Unless there's some deeper meaning within the file system in terms of, like, how they're managed. I don't suppose there would be any secrets in, in these two things that are not open yet. Although, hmm... Actually, I'm curious about one thing. I'm gonna rest. Well, okay, I'm curious about two things now that I've restarted. Okay, I don't think there's anything in the elevator. Uh, the other thing that I'm curious about is. Well, actually, hmm. I have to specifically put the runes in, right? Is there anything interesting back here before I do that? No, they're just totally rock walls before I do that. Okay. So don't worry about that. Uh, OS 10 is, specifically. Or at least a flavor of Unix. But even, even, like, I used, um, my high school had one Mac lab that was OS 9 before OS 10 came out. And even that had directories, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I bonked. I don't, I don't know that there's anything else down there. That is probably, is that the other side of that door that was locked that said I need a rune? That might be what that is. So maybe I'm not supposed to get down there right now, but... We got two more secrets to find. 
I do think it's cool that, like, they actually do reward you for, like, messing around up here. That, that feels like almost a Mazu thing to do, although I'm not sure who worked on the start map specifically. I would assume Fairweather had a lot to do with it. Yeah, where else can I look around finding things? Oh, okay. Maybe some of their older devices and operating systems. Alright, have, have I seen everything there is to see down here? This was one of the ones I did find, right? Yeah. It's the episode 1 bonus map. Oh jeez, don't fall off. Okay. Is there anything else over here? Oh, well, I went I went too far. What over here? I don't suppose like whoa, wait, what the that was unexpected. Oh, but I can't really land. Yeah, you can't really land there. Okay, that's awkward. I don't think I can do anything interesting there. Wait, what? So yeah, that's the same insignia that I saw on the uh, on the other side where I couldn't land. Okay, and you can actually like drop down safely that way. And those are solid, so there's no. Whoops! There's no getting underneath them unless you fall into a bottomless pit. Try going up here? I did not. Locked from the other side. That's gotta be your nightmare switch, I would imagine. Alright, so we have a hint as to where Nightmare is. I don't suppose. So yeah, episode two, the sunken city, is what just came out. Submerge anywhere here? I wanted to see if maybe. Maybe there was something I could do to, like, get over to there from here, but nope. But what about. Can I, like, get on top of this thing or something? Who knows? Hmm. What about over here? That looks promising. Bonk. Not quite working. There we go. Still got two more secrets, so I'm kind of like still trying to keep my eyes peeled. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, once I see those. Is there any rhyme or reason as to the interval here? Aw, oh, man. That that seemed like a good lineup. Ow. Oh, well. Wait, what did the death message say? Fried by a bolt of lightning. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they, they hurt pretty bad, don't they? I'm wondering if you can cheese it by landing, like, right on the edge. And once you're down here, you're kind of sunk. So yeah, they make Nightmare very hard to get, it seems like. Whoops. wonder if I just found a way to cheese it, though. 
Wait, did I over- did I overshoot the mark there? <laughs> I think I overshot the mark. I think I went around back. <laughs> hey, wax goat. Oh, that was extremely badly timed. I think I overachieved. Oh, shit. I got stuck. And I got fried by that one. What? Oh, man. Jeez. Ugh. I'm getting impatient now. It felt like I bonked on something that time. Trying to use momentum to carry me across is not serving me well. Okay, there you go. And this will drop me into the nightmare room. And if you were somehow at 5 health or less, you would have died. Wait, why did that- oh, that hurt me because it brings you down to 50. Because this is copper, right. Okay. So that is secret 4 out of 5. I am probably going to go back and switch my difficulty, because I'm not expecting to actually play on Nightmare. So there's only one secret left. And that does actually restore your health, too. Hey, Andran. suppose we can get all the way up here, out here, can we? I don't think there's anywhere to get up to, other than that shelf on the left side that I already did. So, I'm guessing that the other secret is another bonus map, because I found one bonus map for... Forget if I found one for E1 and two for E2 or the other way around, but it would make more sense if there were two for each. So I'm kind of guessing... I think I found two... F Which episode was this for? That was E2. I think I found two for E2 and one for E1. So I'm guessing there's another one for E1 that I haven't found the entrance to. I remember where all three of them were? I think one of them was down there, and then one of them was the shelf at the start. So where else would we- what- where else would we likely be missing a secret, then? Also, we've been playing for 20 minutes, and I still haven't actually, like, gone past the start map yet. Yeah, I had been putting this off myself for a couple of weeks to give them time to, uh get the patches out. And then, unfortunately, I found a typo ten minutes in. I've already... I think I've checked everything I can down there, but... There was something down here somewhere. Yeah, it was over there. That's the episode one fight. I mean, they could easily fit another secret on this side, but... Well, the other thing is... We can't unlock that rune door yet. There could be something with that. So, perhaps I should move on, and we should, uh investigate the one secret I haven't found after I've completed one episode. So let's go ahead and start with episode one, The Shifting Domain. Sans shift and ancient dread awakens deep below. I like how they managed to keep the message up there too. Oh, they do- wait, they still- they still have that? I don't know if you can still shoot those. 
So that that looked a lot like the original transition between difficulty select and episode select in the start map in V1. And you had to actually shoot the three switches in order to unlock Nightmare, if I recall correctly. And it kind of looked like the switches were still there, but I don't think I managed to shoot any of them. Oh, I, I still have the save up here. I want to I want to try that a little bit. Oh, that's interesting that I can land up there. Uh, so let's actually save like here, and also I don't I don't think there's shoot switches anymore. Like, I, I turned on Crosshair just to be sure. I'll turn it off again and see how far we get before I find out that I really need Crosshair on. Um, so this is Into the Mioid. It does not show who worked on the map. Was, was that Shambler a thing in the first version of this? This room was definitely a thing in the first version. Uh... I think the spawn may have also been a thing in the first version. I definitely remember this great. Not wasting any time giving us the super shock, huh? Alright. And also, I think, uh, I remember I did an inventory... All those were on the first version? Okay. Like, I definitely remember there- I remember playing a map with a Shambler walking, uh, walking across behind, uh, glass. But, I don't think this is the map I was thinking of with that. Don't forget this is copper. We got turret enforcers. Uh, can I get up there or what? Seems like it shouldn't be causing me this much trouble. There we go. So I'm probably not going to remember where all the secrets are. I feel like the lighting, at least, feels a little different. Oh. Hello. Alright, hang on. We have to... We have to test the lift. It appears that there is nothing below the lift. It's bait, never mind, because I got it. So, oh. Hello. So I guess we're going right back down the elevator.
the silver door up here? Yeah. Okay. remember this room. I don't know if all these crates were always here, but I definitely remember the room. The lighting definitely seems different, though. Whoops. That was not good. And we immediately got scuba gear. Because there was more stuff to do down here. Yes, we're going down where the fish was. Oh, more armor. Okay, cool. Killed all of them. All right, core is dead. If these guys could die by the core balls. Yeah, that would be great. Those accents seem like they might be new. Yeah, I am replaying E1 because my understanding is stuff has changed. Opening these doors, or what is that? Door? Oh, it's opening that door. And unfortunately, my memory of E1 is not going to be super precise because it's been a year since I played it, but. Definite portal noises back there. Okay. I do remember there being some pipes like this in D1M1, in the original, in, in 1.2. But I don't remember it being in a small room like this. So this might have changed. Ah, okay. Uh... One thing that I remember being a thing at some point, maybe not this pipe, but some, some pipe in this map did have 
a secret involving like hitting a switch that opened a grate and altered your course. Oh, also that's neat. Yeah, this one's not moving, but that one is. Can I get up there? Is there a reason to get up there? I don't know. I wonder if those are also supposed to be, if that's also supposed to be a shortcut, but there's, there's doors on either side. It seems like that has to serve a purpose eventually. Alright, well, we can go through the gold door. Isn't there another door back here somewhere that, uh, like, opens from the other side or something? Battery slot number two empty. Interesting. I feel like that wasn't constructed quite that way in the original. Maybe that has something to do with those doors. I remember the original had, like, an opens from the other side door in, near the beginning or something. So they may have reconfigured that a bit. Okay. Yeah, that's a shoot switch. Uh, well. Bye. Yeah, that's, that's the dramatic elevator that I just made leave without me. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I should not have done that. Let's get off that before it crushes me. I wonder why they made that a shoot switch, though. Also, why is it silent this time? Yeah, alright, so this is still pretty similar. What happens if I do that? Anything interesting down here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's just bring that down, because I'm probably going to want to. So, like, yeah, there are definitely parts of this map that felt different in this version. What is that? Rested shut. Hmm. Well, this is definitely a point of no... It seems like a point of no return. We'll have to see. Also, I'm surprised this music is actually... Either it's... Either it's explicitly chosen being from the, uh... From previous releases, or it's not custom, because this is something that's in the alternative OST. Is that a Quake vending machine? That might have been in version 1. I don't remember. Honestly, this area seems new, though. Is that, like, half a slipgate right there? Also, what's up here? Alright, this is where we came from, right? Yeah. There's something over there, too? Actually, hang on. Let me reload this. I don't... I don't know if that jump is doable. That's, that seems that seems way too far to be doable. Huh. Wait a sec. <clears throat> didn't I see? It's a little it's a little dark in this area, but didn't I see like a? I thought I might have saw a platform jutting out of the wall somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. I remember in... I could have sworn in, in the original D1M1, there was a fight on this bridge. Ooh. 
Wh which the rock over across from here? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's. Oh boy. Okay. Almost slid right off of it. And then this is an incline. Found a secret backpack. With a bunch of stuff in it. That's actually the first secret I found. I'm wondering if there'll be a way of going back. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. A shortcut opens nearby. Okay, that hopefully means I can go back if I want to. Yeah, I may end up needing to do that. Uh, well, we've got brightness and contrast. Actually, why is my contrast so low? I don't know. Let's just do that for now. Alright, so that's probably... I would assume that's the exit, not the way back, but... Interesting that that one is not lit up when every other one is. Also, the heck is up there. Oh, is this the way back? Yes, okay. Alright, so that's cool. Now, this was the top of the wind passage. Actually, that's a... Is that a vanilla texture? That looks like vanilla textures. And yeah, see how there's... There's totally something up there. There's got to be a way to make those bars recede. That was a thing that was in the original map in, e1, in uh, V1, I should say. I still don't have another battery either. And the way to do that should be somewhere near here. At least if it's like V1. No guarantees, I guess. Wait, can you actually warp both directions? You can, yeah, you can actually warp both directions, but you can also just go up this thing. Oh, there it is. It's just really freaking dark. That was not that dark in, uh... V1, almost guaranteed. Well then. Okay. Alright, so that that is a secret that I remembered. I just literally could not see the shoot switch. Oh, hey, there's explosives in there. Oh. You purchased a secret quad. It's too bad I already basically killed mostly everything in the level. I wonder what I didn't kill. Must be in another secret somewhere. There was the matter of... Wait, there's stuff down there, too? Hang on. Wonder if I can get down there somehow. Mm. 
I don't know if cobwebs are supposed to mean secrets in this the way that they do in uh, Underdark Overbright. Also, I definitely want to think there's a secret in the water somewhere. Actually, it lets you go surprisingly high. I guess I can get some ammo while I'm down here. Uh, these doors were also still a mystery. Huh. And the fact that one piston is moving but the other one isn't. Oh. I was like, what the hell is that noise? That is the oxygen feeding. Is that actually new to V2 or was the oxygen tank in the original? Because I feel like that probably wasn't. Tried interacting with all these things. <laughs> so I don't know what the deal with those doors is. And if there is. Oh, those look like little alcoves. Those look like they could be ogre perches on higher difficulties or something. I don't think there was anything in those when I had to fight things in here earlier. The vor was up there, actually. I mean, that too. Like, is there a way to get up there? Kind of seems like there ought to be. That's an interesting shape. And then above here is this. There's all the lasers, too. Is that a thunderbolt? So the lasers may have replaced the, uh, the opens from behind doors or something that I thought I remembered in the original. I tried interacting with all these, too. There's a lot I am not figuring out about this. And yes, that does hurt you. that I have wished to be interactive has been interactive. I'm pretty sure I checked under this before. Hmm. Also, that does say lasers on, so... It seems odd that... Putting in another battery would turn the lasers off. That would explain why that's there, though, so you can see the effect. So, it would be cool if I could find the battery. I don't know if I'm going to find the battery, though. <laughs> so, I'm pretty bad at finding things. Well, I did get half the secrets, so... I guess I shouldn't be that hard on myself. 
And I'm pretty sure there was like four secrets or something in the original version of this map. Not six. But then, I mean, I think the end of the level didn't exist. I don't know if the, the, the quad vending machine might have existed in the original. Meaning this thing. But yeah, I definitely remember there being a more wide open room in the part where you take the pipe back up in the original. And then there's there's the odd matter of how the hell do I get down there? I mean, maybe maybe there just isn't a way to do that, but there's a dude down there. There, there may or may not be stuff down there. I don't know. But, like, why put all the details there if you can't get to it? Oh, wait a minute. If this wall weren't here, maybe. Yeah, I suppose it is too late to help. Hang on. That was not a secret, but it was a backpack that is basically invisible because that box is dark. Oxygen tank just gone now? It respawned once. Seems like it may not have respawned again. I'm kind of wondering if I should be able to get over there. But I don't really have an opportunity to explore now because no oxygen. So this may end up turning out very bad. Like, why respawn it at all if you're just gonna eventually not... That is not how you get air. This is how you get air. Oh, do they make choking not take armor in copper? I didn't remember if that was a thing. Okay, you can come up for air anywhere here, though. So there's that, at least. I mean, I still want to think that there could totally be something hiding in the water area. Whoops. If I hadn't gotten stuck there, I would have been fine. Hello, what's up with this texture? The texture is completely different from this. save with one of the secrets that I got. Well, shit. What was the third one that I got? I don't remember. I mean, the only one I care about is the battery at this point. Then again, for a... Oh, this was the third one that I got. Okay. Then again, I, I suppose that Thunderbolt in the first map of an episode is meant to be an extremely hard secret anyway, so like, you know, see also Smej one. Map one. The Thunderball secret in that map is just kind of bananas. Yeah, so right now that's there. Actually, 
actually the quad works as a headlight there too. Too bad I uh, couldn't hang on to it for longer. So as far as I can tell, there's nothing in that room, even though it's suspiciously large. see anything in here, so I, I don't know. But then there's there's also the matter of these doors as well. A lot of things I can't explain about this map. But I'm just gonna go back rather than waste the oxygen. I don't get why that's a shoot switch. That just seems like an odd decision. Although I guess... I guess specifically for now, if you wanted to bring this back up when it's down there, it has to be a shoot switch. So I guess that's why. But you've also got this, so like you, you don't actually necessarily have to... Well, I suppose you only unlock that later, though. So yeah, I guess, I guess that answers that question. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to figure out this map, unfortunately. So, I should probably move on. I think we'll be fine without the uh, Thunderbolt anyway. Alright, now this map I remember. Because the music's super good. The, uh, the visuals are super good. Dog dodging. <laughs> this seems... No, this, this is probably not different. I was gonna say I didn't remember getting on top of things that quickly in this map, but... Shooting at me. Okay, you I remember. Oh, there's dudes on top of there, I think. Is that gonna slide down helpfully like it did the first time I played? Yup! The return of the incredible sliding backpack. It happened again. This map was unchanged. I mean, I didn't expect the backpack thing to work again, though. Also, in the in the um, in the area in the topic of unchanged maps, I have an important question: Was the secret map in this episode unchanged? But 
before I go in there, I'm pretty sure there is some stuff I should look into around the uh, outside. The only thing changed uh, in this map or in the secret map? Wow, I can actually almost get up there. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I should be able to get up there. In the secret map? I am probably going to skip the secret map then. Because I remember... That I felt like the secret map just wore out its welcome. Largely because of um, the large underwater section and the apparently not infinitely respawning biosuit. Unless they did something about that, but given what I just saw on the first level with the not infinitely respawning scuba gear... I'm not going to bet on it. Pretty sure I should be able to get up there. Although another thing I could try doing is if I can get up here... There we go. Then maybe I can just jump over there. Oh, come on. Why didn't that work? Pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to get up to there. You can do it, come on. Oh shit. Well. But on this side. There we go. That was completely pointless, wasn't it? I couldn't remember if there was a secret up here. Maybe there wasn't. Oh, no, not what I wanted. Hang on. Actually, is that just where I... That was just where I was before, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Alright, so don't worry about it. We just wasted a bunch of time trying to climb a pyramid. Hey, Colossus. Scuba gear could have been, should, should have been a Vania power up. That would be an interesting idea. I wonder. The Explore, Explore Jam 3 is Arcane Dimensions based, right? So does that mean it has access to the scuba gear? Could they, if, could they actually do something with that? Like AD candles use the uh, scuba gear, if I recall correctly. What? Oh, freaking pain in the arch, dude. I have not played episode two yet. No, I'm starting with one, and we'll get to two when we're done with one. I wanted to uh, wanted to experience anything that's changed in episode one. Although I like, uh, I was just saying, um, since Fleck mentioned that nothing in this map has changed. Yeah, I remember. I remember the Travolta brothers. Oh, hello, ogre. Yeah, I should have remembered the ogre too. to try to not die. Cool, I barely didn't die. I suppose he has some health. Here we go. So yeah, I wonder if anybody will think about using the scuba gear in... Although, I mean, I feel like scuba gear could be a little problematic, because, like, you have to make it pretty clear that, like, okay, yeah, you're not supposed to do this underwater section until you have scuba gear. But, yeah, that could that could be an interesting... I'm, I'm wondering if anyone's gonna go really ham on the Metroidvania aspects in the... the latest Explore Jam. <laughs> Why does it, why did it only make me kill two of them? Oh, I got both of them at once. Okay. Those are not breakable.
It does seem... I'm wondering if the lighting in here was changed too, like if these shadows were made more pronounced. I feel like this, this place might have been a little more flatly lit in the original, but maybe I just don't remember it well. Anyway, I forgot. You have to just go out the way you came in here. Okay, now we gotta go back over to the other side. Oh yes, I remember I remember this scene in particular. This seems familiar. Hey Mike. It's going pretty good. Um, we are checking out what has changed in Dwell Episode 1 right now. I played Episode 1 uh, version 1.2 almost a year ago, in like March of last year, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll be uh, moving on to 12 episode 2, which is new to version 2. Can I actually kill these guys? I forget. I don't think so. Now I can. So what did that say? Sun chamber. Oh, okay. I know where that is. Wait, there's one of you is still alive. I don't know how, but let's see if there's anything else lurking around here. Nope. Yeah, this map has got a really neat aesthetic to it, and the music's really good for it, too. Yes, there is one on the other side who just didn't wake up at all until I killed the other guy. Cool. Uh, I am wondering whether those shells respawn. Looks like they do. Oh, there's also some down there that I forgot about. And enforcers? Okay. Don't really need that armor yet. Thunderbolt ammo, rubbing it in now that- oh, hello, where did you come from? Rubbing it in that I did not get the Thunderbolt in the first map. Yeah, this is the, uh, the map with the, the clear, serious Sam influences. He ended up stuck there, but okay. I hear fish. I probably wasted that quad. I don't actually know what, if those... What did those two switches actually do? Did they... Ele no, that was already happening. The electricity was already happening on top of the pyramid. I should probably grab these nails. And also see if there's any... Health anywhere. <laughs> right. That opens on the other side. There's a grenade launcher there. I actually could have easily gotten that from where I was. That would have been smart. I don't remember if 
there's any health that respawns. There sure are a lot of uh, disgruntled knights in there. I don't know. Did that health respawn? It might have, given that it was on a little pad. Let's say we get the grenade launcher before we do anything else, which should be right over here. I suppose we might as well do other things now. Yep, everybody's right there. And that guy's late to the party. Oh, uh, this well, the switches might have opened those bars, but uh, we need a key for that anyway. We also need a key for that, potentially, maybe. There are many fish. And I'm somehow not killing them. All those fish are playing hard to get. I think that health will respawn. And I think this is what starts serious sand business. Did I see a quad? Ah, oh, well that door opened. There's a quad. I was gonna say, I thought... Nice mid-air jib. I was gonna say, I thought I remembered this section having a quad that in my first playthrough I didn't discover until after I had killed everything. Which was kind of sad. Okay, actually a couple of things have opened. Hey, Corporal Gamer. Corporal Gamer, I know you're a big System Shock fan, aren't you? Did you get to try the demo of the new one? Because that was a thing in Next Fest, wasn't it? I didn't try it because I haven't played System Shock at all, so I wouldn't really be able to appreciate how good or bad it was. But I know a lot of folks are skeptical about, uh... about the new one being handled properly. A medieval, you mean? Yeah, a medieval definitely has uh, the one set of levels that involves a pyramid. It's pretty good, but it's limited. Hey, Erica. Alright, let's drop a save. Hello. the exit? This might be the exit. I did not find a single secret? What the hell? I can't have done that bad the first time I played this. And this map didn't really change, so... Wow, I had 26 health. Holy crap. I should probably at least wait for some health to respawn. Or just find more. But yeah, how, how's your weekend going, uh, Erica and Corporal Gamer? And Prime, I totally missed the howdy from Prime at the same time as Corporal Gamer. <laughs> uh, I guess the only way back is where we pick up the grenade launcher. I want to look at stuff again. Actually, wait. I think I've become disoriented. Hang on. Which side is that on?
Where am I? Oh, it's over here. Okay. There, there is a... Uh, this is a Greenwood map, if I recall correctly, so there is a polite arrow on the wall, like, look over here, goofball. Weird sleep schedule, oh boy. I had really thought there was a secret up there. On the uh, ledge that I tried furiously to climb to before. How are there five secrets and I didn't find a single one? Good grief. It's really weird how you can, like, parkour up half of these columns. I mean, like, you can you can practically get to the ceiling if you jump. That's kind of, uh, surprising. Actually... What? Hang on. landings to that scrag. Alright, let's try something that I'm probably gonna regret. Oh, I don't even know if I can try this from here. We are going to attempt to climb the pyramid, and I will probably die. How, how much higher do we have to go? Oh god. Oh jeez, I'm losing it. Why am I so bad at doing this? Like, why does it seem so hard to control? We're almost there. Do we do we die if we make it to the top? Oh no, no, we just actually you know what's funny about that? You can probably sequence break the map by doing that. Because then you don't have to open the sun door at all. The sun door definitely feels like uh, X and 2, though. I'm still not entirely sure what the two switches over here actually did, either. I'm not sure whether they opened access to the gold door or whether they did something completely different. Yeah, I guess... Uh I mean, I can I can see the the opening with the what dwells below though, which was the original, like the original thing with that elevator. I didn't realize there's even stairs there. I just like jumped back up before. Matter. I don't know if I needed to do this two side switches over here before I could do the switches under the water there either. I don't know. Maybe I should check the tomb one more time. Uh, this was not. That's not the tomb I'm thinking of. Although, actually. Is there anything to do with these? Doesn't seem like it. What was over here? This was the side I started on, wasn't it? Yeah. That health definitely respawns. Alright, that's not a push switch or anything. Is there anything like hiding behind any of these dudes? I don't know 
why that exists. There was probably a dude hiding in there. Man, how am I down to 39 armor too? Jeez. Well, I'm I'm drawing a big goose egg on secrets in this map. I don't know if I was that bad at finding secrets in here the first time I played it. Is there anything on this side? No, this goes all the way to the wall on this side. I guess we'll move on, because I'm not finding anything. So I remember... I remember a bit about this map, at least. Okay, so they just straight up give you the grenade launcher at the beginning of this map. Also a quad. That was the regular nail gun? Okay. They do try to make these maps scratch start viable, so that's why we're finding weapons right at the start. Whoops. There we go. Darn it. If only my grenade launcher had a silencer on it. We got nail traps to both sides, and then whatever the heck is up here. There's armor down there. There's also armor over here. Uh, yep, need that. This feels like they probably changed the lighting on this map, too. I'm pretty sure those are actually switches, if I recall correctly. And you have to fall on each one of them. <laughs> Spawn one behind me? Really? I'm surprised. So we can go down there. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> um, I actually did hit the zombie. Wow. I completely ignored that guy. Kind of just blended in. Oh. That 
Scrag was actually gonna have an argument. These guys really do blend in. Okay, there's very clearly a portal there that uh, does something eventually. I don't really need that armor right now. Seems like the only way to go is through the middle anyway. I'm pretty sure I fell down here, so... Why did I try to skip the middle platform? That was smart. Yes, yeah, so that's where I came from. Use the grenade against the wrong enemy. Hello. I idea what that did. Also, I think I am just gonna turn crosshair on since there's been quite a few things to shoot at. It reactivates very quickly. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? You can't be serious. Did I not hit it? All right, before I waste all my ammo. Really? I disagree. I'm just mistiming the hell out of this. Nice shooting. Where does this lead? Does that go back down to where I was, I think? Yeah, I felt like Nail Gun ended up being a, uh, a liability because it doesn't travel fast enough where it, whereas shotgun is hit scam. Alright, I guess that didn't do anything. So that all was over there. I guess we go back to what we were doing. <laughs> Seems rather crowded in here. zombies. Also that guy. Also more zombies. Okay. I suppose I could have actually gone down this direction before. Although I don't know what the purpose would have been. So it seems like all that's down here is zombies. Like, why does this exist? Alright, but hang on. Run over there. Huh. 
That doesn't seem to count as a secret or anything. Did the skybox change on this map, or was it always the skybox even in V1? I feel like the sky wasn't this blue. Shortcut opens below. Okay. Now, is this above... Yeah, this is above that thing. So. There's one switch. Now the question is, where's the shortcut? Here it is. And then the other switch... I hit the one on the right. Armor awaits you. Okay. Is that this armor? Well, that's still barred. Also, I never did take the quad at the beginning of the level. Is this not gonna... Oh, I guess the switch turns that off. Oh, maybe that opens that armor. So there's at least two secret armors. Oh yeah, it actually came off. Did that actually count as a secret, though? I have no idea. It didn't make the secret noise, so as to not disturb Prime and make him paranoid that he's missing a call or something. Okay. Uh, perhaps that is related to the dot 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 portal earlier? I guess we can go down and check again. Uh, provided I can remember where the heck that was. That was over here, it's... nope, it's still closed. I can't bonk my head on those. in here, but I might as well check. That does not seem to open. So, yeah, no, I don't think so.
All oh, right, that was where the ogre perch or whatever was. Yeah, that I jumped over to before. I don't know if there's anything else I can do from over there. <laughs> Is there any other platforming? That would just be putting me backward. I think there's another perch on the other side, though. I meant to jump. I didn't jump. I mean, I don't think I could jump across to it anyway. I just kind of want to look. Yeah, so there is another perch over there, too. I don't know if there's a way to get to that one. Oh, is that the armor that was revealed by the uh, the two switches? I wonder. Is there anything out here with all this space? No, that seems like it might be a uh, might be an invisible wall. I suppose right around the moon it does get kind of, like, reddish. So I was gonna say, I thought I remembered this area being more red. But maybe I'm just misremembering. I don't really want to pick up that armor yet, but... Does it count as a secret? No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, yeah, get ready for a fight. I remember there being lots of stuff to fight in here. Wait, what? What did I even step on? Okay. Like, I don't even know if that was, like, visibly pressable. Okay, that was slightly visibly pressable. So there's a couple of portals in here. We got two key doors in here. I don't remember those. There's one. There's another. It'd be really cool if one of them is, like, in a super dark corner somewhere or something. Like that. That wasn't, that wasn't too dark from that angle, but if I had approached from this side, it probably would have been kind of dark. And probably might have still been noticeable. I can't believe we're fixing their flooring right now. I want to think the other one is probably on this side also, but it could be that I actually missed something and need to go over it again. Because I wasn't really looking for them when I was over here. So I don't know. Doesn't seem like any of them would be hiding down here. Oh, nope, no, nope, there is. Holy crap. That opens this. Well, we got a thunderbolt now. What? Wait, Scrags, I didn't pick up a rocket launcher. What the hell are you doing, game? That's not how it works. So for some reason they gave me a bunch of nails. Okay, 
Okay, so it doesn't want me to go out there. Uh, hmm. Can I do some platforming here? There's freaking health up here. That doesn't count as a secret either. <laughs> but it's up here. I guess that's supposed to be for the uh, fall I'm about to take. Is there some on that side too? It looks like there's another platform up there as well. Can't tell what's on it from here though. So I would have to warp up there again to check. Which doesn't necessarily seem worth it. I can just do it this way. We did the left side before, we can do the right side now. Yep, it's also health, okay. Yeah, I should have looked across, you could see that from across the way there. Okay. So, what do I do to start things going here? Can I not? I can't go back. I see. I live here now. Okay, we, we take the quad to start things going. What the hell was that? Um... That is serious Sam enemies. Also, that Shambler's dead and I didn't do it. So I'm thinking that might have been new. I have no nails. Sure, wait for the quad to run out and then show up. Health, I'm gonna die. Don't suppose we have any more. Okay. It's too bad that armor is uh, stuck outside where I can't get to it now. The yellow armor that I uh, unlocked because I wanted to save that because I had like I was like one short of full yellow armor before. Oh, there's also more health here. Okay. Uh, we are still not nearly done. So now what? That opened this. Stay on top, and you will be rewarded. It's interesting that they say that now. Okay. This seems new. Good armor. I guess that's what they meant by being rewarded. What are you guys doing? I see, they're just leaping on top of here. As many hit scanners, it's a bit of a problem. The re reward awaits outside. Is that what that just said? Yeah. But also, aren't there still a couple of, uh, enforcers? So, can they just path up there? That's kind of ridiculous. Can't believe that hit him. Alright, so we got the, uh, the silver key. I was, I was thinking that the, uh, the ammo and armor that spawned up there was already supposed to be the reward. Okay, so the reward is a quad, but I still can't go out there. 
There is now a quad and an armor sitting out there. Uh, I think there might still be more health here, too. Yep. Okay, uh, was the silver on this side? Yeah. Hi, that's rude. Did you not do that? Now, oh. take a walk outside. And there's the gold key. Oh, there's actually... <laughs> um, so... So one of these two armors was from the two buttons. I just want to check whether picking any of these up triggers a secret, but I don't think... No, I was already at four. Oh, cool. Uh, I actually wanted the quad, though. taking that quad down to the bottom. Oh, right, we have the gold key. I need to go up here anyway. Why do I have... what? That's new. I didn't realize there was knockback. That's definitely new. This is one of the uh, power-ups that was added in V2. So that changed. Uh, so I think that also gave me a mega health effect. Because suddenly I had a lot of health to work with there. So I'm just going to take that now. Still only 4 out of 6 on secrets, but that's a lot better than I did on the previous map. I wish the readme did mention the map credits, though. Like, for each specific person. Like, I remember that the second map was a Greenwood map. So, like, I have to imagine there was map credits individually somewhere for V1 for me to have known that. 10x axe damage and 50% damage reduction. Does it not give you health? Did I just happen to get health at the same time when it tossed me in there? Actually, if I go up here, what does it say? Oh, yeah, so it says you have got healed by 100, which might have been a mega health then. And you begin frothing with a Berserker's Rage, which is the Berserk power-up, which is what that was. But jeez, 10x axe damage, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I played Dwell V1 uh, last March, I believe. Um, actually, for those of you who are new... Um, I have a full list of the packs that I have played over the last two plus years at this point. Um, so 12v1 is in that list. Have I killed everything? Somehow there's one enemy I didn't kill. Could be related to a secret I didn't get. So I have at least a vague recollection. This was the thing... I hear thunder but there's no rain. What the heck does that mean? That was the same one that was... that I already opened before. Why is that closed again, but with a message now? <laughs> That's supposed to mean it can actually do something else? 
The one thing that I'm still curious about... I suppose I should still, like, drop a save near the end here. In case I end up empty-handed. And mm, would need to hoof it back. Um... I'm still wondering about that one other portal. That did not successfully break my fall. It only broke my legs. That's just gonna warp me back up, I think. So where was that other portal? Of course, I also don't know whether that portal opens anywhere near it. Hang on, is this another... Yep. What did that do? That was, in fact, a push switch. It did not open that, though. It didn't tell me anything. Do I make my, uh, map- Do I make maps myself? No. I have never- I don't think I've ever tried Quake mapping, and if I had ever looked at it, it would have been, like, decades ago, and I imagine the tooling is probably better now. Um, I am in the Quake mapping Discord now. Uh, I finally joined that several months ago. I actually joined it in order to get the, uh, <laughs> the latest build of Iron Will, but I've been using VK Quake since then anyway, and Quake Spasm for older stuff that I figure would not have been tested on newer forks. Um, so I already did this. I'm surprised that's actually open again, because I already did this thing. So, like, what would that even do? This doesn't do something if I do it again, does it? Oh, it did open. Did I miss the last one, or did it just not do anything? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't expect it to do anything anyway. Um, back when I was in, like, college or something, I did... No, probably even earlier than that, I did toy around with Doom mapping at one point. That was, like, way before any of the stuff like Ultimate Doom Builder existed, though. Like, that was before UDMF was a thing. If anything, I could see myself trying Doom mapping again. I feel like Quake mapping would have a much higher learning curve. Well, I mean, I've been hearing that 0 0.7 is soon for multiple months. I feel like Iron Whale... Wait, why is half of this open and half of it closed? Was it always like that? I feel like I didn't notice that before. Um, maybe it was. I seriously don't know what that switch did, though. How far back was that switch that I pressed? It was before- it was before I dropped down, wasn't it? So maybe I should actually go back up and look around again? Also, is there anything up there? No. One thing I wasn't able to figure out... That definitely looks like an ammo box, so you should be able to get up there somehow, and that is also something I never figured out. That's how to get up there. Heh. <laughs> Yo, yeah, well, and actually, it's... Isn't Trench Broom actually usable for, like, a whole bunch of different games? Like, it might not support all of them completely, but... But, yeah, like, I... I get the impression that... I mean, there's just a lot of nitty-gritty details to learn and understand. And also, there... It's just, like, a different way of thinking about mapping... ...than mapping for Doom, for example. I kept... Wait, is this not... This is not the same thing I'm thinking of from before. I don't see anything I can do around here either, though. <laughs> Disappearing Funk Illusionary? Look, I don't know what Funk Illusionary is supposed to do, but that sure sounds like it's working as intended. Wait a sec, is there something over here? No, I guess not. <laughs> well, that's okay. I was, uh... I found a, a typo 
in the start map in this tonight. I was like, oh man, they're going to need to release a patch 3 now. I, I don't expect them to release a patch just because of a typo. I'm joking, but... <laughs> it was just kind of one of those funny and sad moments of like, oh man, can't believe I found something already. Uh, so if I want to go back down again, I guess we go back down here. Uh, so I th it's unfortunate how many places in this map you kind of have to take full damage. Actually, now that I think about it... Was this the pack where... I might be thinking of a later map in this pack. So I could have sworn there was like an exterior area that like did have some secrets around it. But it might be a later map that I'm thinking of. Uh... Alright, well let's save there again. Oh, well that's funny. So that can be used for like false walls and stuff. Except an iron well, iron well it kind of just it's it's like you have that item in Ori in the Blind Forest that reveals the fake walls for you. No wait, was that Uh I forget if Blind Forest had that or if only Will of the Wisps did. They might have both had it. Okay, what the hell did I want to look for again? So right, I already hit that earlier. I don't remember if I ever knew what that did either, actually. So there might just be a whole bunch of those that I need to look out for and find. So I did find the one here and I hit that. Oh, there's another one right here. We are watching you. Oh, I see. Hi! Okay, that's five out of six. And that was the one other enemy. I, I think I'm good with that. <laughs> now I need to get more nails again, though. Um, There might have been some right near the exit, though. Yeah, it's funny. You push a bunch of ice switches, and then it says we're watching you. <laughs> Alright, I've got... As much... As much as I can hope to get out of this, other than, like, yeah, there is technically one other secret that I'm not gonna worry about. And it might... It might have to do... With, uh... It might have to do with this again. Because now... That says... A different thing than it did before. That doesn't do anything, though. I forget, where does this bring me? That just brings me on top of here with all these dead guys. Right, okay. Um, originally, that brought me up top. And it did give me the Thunderbolt, so that might just be what that message is referring to. And maybe it just intentionally doesn't, leave you, doesn't let you up there again. Because we had to, like, press on a bunch of floor tiles to open that before. So I can't imagine that resets. Oh yeah, people, uh, so... <laughs> right, lead and lead. Because lead can be spelled that way, but that's not the lead that they are talking about. And the other thing that always, always tricks everybody and I just shake my head at it every time, is sneak peek. Everybody types out sneak, S-N-E-A-K, and then they just get conned right into typing P-E-A-K, which is fucking wrong. Unless you're doing a stealth mission on a fucking mountain somewhere, then it's a sneak peek. P-E-A-K. Otherwise, you're spelling it wrong. Stop doing that. Okay. What do we have next? This is Fairweather's map, right? I'm pretty sure this is Fairweather's map. Um, I'm gonna take a break. Wow, we actually have been going for two hours. So yeah, let me take a break, and then we will uh, start. Yeah, that would be it. Has anybody done that yet? That would be a good map name, actually. That would work. So there you go. Um, but yeah, we will uh, 
this is a map that I'm pretty sure does have changes in it. It also has the secret exit, if it's if that much is unchanged. I'm not going to play the secret map again, because I know that takes a while, and kind of... The, the water parts overstay their welcome, in my opinion. Um, so, in order to uh, focus on things with changes, uh, I'm just going to go straight through. And, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll at least check whether the secret exit is in the same place, because I do remember at least some of the details of that. Because it's actually kind of a shitpost, um, given, given what Fairweather usually does and does not do in his maps. So, we'll, uh, get to that in a couple minutes. I'll keep this music playing during the break, since it is, you know, all original custom music anyway. Alright, let's get back into things. Uh, right, so we're on Fairweather's map. Let's start the timer back up again. You know, I like that I haven't had trouble finding the nail guns in these maps. I should point that out. So I think one of the things that ended up fixed in the second patch... No, maybe it was the first patch, actually. Was there was a soft lock in some portion of this map, I think. And it may have been in a section that is completely new. I heard enforcer noises. Where are you? You're in there. Because of course there's an enforcer underwater. Why wouldn't there be... Should I have taken that or not? Oh my god, I can't hit the fish. Evasive fish. Oh, I remember that door. That's gonna be fun later. Uh, there is stuff in here. Is that a secret? Is there anything else in here? I can't see a bloody thing. That is a secret. And that is a new weapon. This weapon did not exist in the, uh, the original release in V1. Okay, I can just hit three again. Ow. Rude, excuse me. Wait, the Vor's still mad at me though? Come on, can't you pick on that guy? Definitely uh, runs out of ammo quick, though. Oh, wow, that kills him in, like, five shots out of eight? Okay, yeah. It, like, it does more damage than I thought it would, because don't workers normally take, like, eight ammo to kill? Alright, can I just not die, though? That would be good. Oh, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> well, beefed up in some ways, because, like, I, I remember... I don't remember where I saw... Fairweather and one or two other people talking about it. Um, and it, I will say that I had been spoiled on this weapon because I saw Wiedo play uh, a sneak preview of Dwell 2 uh, last year during a charity marathon. Um, so he found this weapon during that. 
So I knew this was coming, I just didn't expect it necessarily in episode one. But, um, I remember Fairweather and others talking about how, like, it seems like, um, less skilled players tend to see the new shotgun is overpowered, whereas more skilled players tend to, like, tend to realize it has its place. There are, there are good and bad situations to use it in. You say it's a straight upgrade, upgrade, but it can also waste ammo, because... One, you have to commit to four shots. And two, I thought it had, like, a wider spread or something. Oh, yeah. Rotary shock. Yeah, I was looking for it in the, uh, in the messages there. Okay, so I guess the, I guess the portal is how we're getting out of here. Oh, wait, no, I can get up here. This way. Is that technically a secret? Uh, no, it is not. In that case, I will not pick up the armor yet. Because I kind of don't need it. And we're back in the water. <coughs> nice shot, jeez. Uh, yeah, he's very dead. So, it definitely does do, like you're saying, it is an upgrade in terms of how much damage it does. Because normally, two shots from the double shotgun would just, would basically just be enough to kill that guy. There's another one of these? Why is there another one of these? Is that just for if I want to go into this mess again? I, I feel like I really, I don't want to waste that. And I don't want to pick up the armor. Times Kenny has picked up the armor that he doesn't want to pick up right now. Although, I mean, I guess it is pretty far out of the way. Yeah, so don't pick that up. Oh, backpack landed on the elevator. That's fun. Also, I never did actually go in here. stuck there. Oh no. He took a f he took a while to find me. All right. Save how you usually kill ogres with four rotary shots and one SSG, right? But it was to use nails, then finish with rotary. Yeah, I can see that too. I just basically did the opposite of that. I was using the rotary and then finishing with nails. There is something to do in here, right? Maybe not. Maybe it was just to get his ammo. Okay, what was the point of coming in here? It had the, the super shotgun, I think. That might have been the only point. Also, this is another one of those levels that has more secrets in it in this version. Did I come from here originally? Yes. Alright, so time to take the elevator, I reckon. I, I do kind of... It's it's going to take me a while to get used to... If I really want the double shotgun, then I'm going to have to hit three twice now. Okay. Those guys are not as uh, quickly killed with that as I estimated they were. Is there another... There's another dude. Okay, so two rotaries and then one of these. That's about, that would be the equivalent of five of these, which is about on par with the best you can do. 
using this for those guys. But yeah, the only other time we ever had anything close to a quad shotgun, if I believe, was uh, Altar of Storms. really do without the serious sand enemies. Hit zombies. What? <laughs> I missed the ogre and hit some poor hapless zombie behind him. Alright, cool. See, I don't even like the triple shotgun in uh, Arcane Dimensions because it... Well, it's, it's good for a couple of things. That's the Berserk power-up, I reckon. I didn't actually get to see it last time because it just kind of, like, threw me into it in the previous map. jumping. I wonder how well this will work. Alright, three sets of that kills a vor. That's... I'm trying to remember, vors normally take the equivalent... Yeah, that's, that's more efficient. It would normally take like 16 ammo. I think, to kill a vor. Alright. Should we take this? Well, no, the reason I don't like the Widowmaker is because I feel like it wastes ammo. Because it throws the equation off for every other type of enemy. You end up overkilling so many kinds of enemies, and it replaces... See, if it didn't... Re if it was like this, where you could still switch to the SSG, it would be fine. It replaces the SSG, so you no longer have the SSG for the things that work out really evenly, like four SSG blasts for an ogre, or one for a, uh... Usually, ideally, one for a grunt, two for an enforcer. For enforcers, uh, Widowmaker is probably going to take two sets of, uh, two, two blasts. And then it's just going to completely overkill on the second one. The knockback is hilarious. Really hilarious. Wow, I handled that amazingly poorly. And I have no armor. That's the pro that's gonna be the problem with Berserk. It's gonna be like the problem with vanilla pentagram, is like you just kill your armor. Okay, so that's what that's there for. I suppose I can't quite get back up there, though. Uh, so those guys would normally take 12 shells, so that's basically the same. Okay, no, wait. That guy died to two blasts of that? That's better than, than with the, S the SSG. Yeah, I think I meant I think I saw mention of that somewhere that there's separate impulses if you want them. 
the the funny thing is for for enemies that don't get killed in one shot by the berserk, it, the knockback is kind of problematic. Like that was my first experience with it in the in the third map. Okay, is this the part that I am going to wish I had the berserk for? Probably. I don't have any bloody armor, dude. I think I should go back for that armor that I saved. Because I'm pretty sure I know what's next. It's too bad that that doesn't open yet. Yeah, that's true. It gives you space at least. Alright, do I remember? Well, there's, there's the uh, oxygen tank. I actually want to test whether I can do this without that. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Also, yeah, what's the deal with that, actually? Wait, this is not... This is not the thing I'm thinking of, is it? Uh, no, yeah, it is. Because there's the armor. I don't know, that, that other set of bars has me wondering if there's anything I should be able to do in here to open that or something. Gotta wonder how much, how long it must have taken to build just like this room. Mm. There's another armor up there too. Good grief! So have I not been up there actually? I could have sworn there was... Oh, yeah, I, so, yeah. This guy narrowly avoided what happened when I played V1, which is one of these guys died on this, and so the next time I opened it from below, he just plummeted into the water. So we, we unfortunately didn't get that hilarity this time. Oh, yeah, that armor was, in fact, right there. That is not a secret. It's just there. Uh, that is apparently... I don't remember what the trick to that door is. And then here I imagine... Oh, well, that was not a good jump at all. Let's just reload that. Since the elevator's right here. I don't remember what the trick was with that either. Uh, that did something. Oh, that opened the door. Okay. And you found it. Wait, a secret quad run? Yes, that means it's going to spawn stuff on me. Is that all it's going to spawn? Can I remember where the hell I needed to go next? Because what I should do is remind myself where I need to go next and see if I can take the quad into that. That might be helpful. So I'm pretty sure... Is this the shortcut? No, that's the shortcut. Okay, so where am I coming from? I'm coming from right there, and... Yeah, okay. Well, I don't enjoy taking 50 damage right there, but... Alright, and I believe... Is this where we're going next? This is where we're going next. Uh, did they change this part, like, heavily? Because I could have sworn there was a part in this map that spawned, like, 50 grunts. And that was, like, four. Or six. I guess it was six. Uh, 
Unless I'm thinking of a different part of the map. <coughs> now, if I recall correctly... Was one of the keys in this map secret originally? Yeah, so this actually even looks like a door now that I look at it. And I didn't really recognize that the first time I played this level. a waste. I guess this one's also just climbable for armor. I mean, for the ammo, rather. What else am I doing here? Oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure I can jump over to there. Whoops. If I can get the jump out in time. Yeah, it's even more important, uh, given that copper halves ogre ammo. Like, they only drop one rocket, not two. I don't want to waste both health there. I thought there was a reason to come over here other than the ammo. I think that door can be opened. Well, maybe. Maybe this is the part I was thinking of. This is the part I was thinking of. Yeah. When we hit that switch, uh, things are gonna get dicey. Oh wait, there's two switches? There's two switches. That was all. Well, my armor's almost gone, but yeah, this is the part that I was talking about. That there's just, like... That's... that's... I should've... you know what? Let me save here. I mean, this is probably a little further back than there, but, uh, yeah. We, our, our enemy kill count has gone up by a hundred. So, that was a lot of grunts. Also, we probably could've had this to trivialize. A hit scan helper, yeah. It's what's for dinner.
Okay. Uh, so wait, did that open the door or what? No, that's still closed. It gave us the key, though. Which is used here. I heard a knight somewhere. He's down, he's in the water. Uh, untitled Goose Knight. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. That is an extra key. That is... secret related. I'm sorry, my friend. The fate of Underlift Secret Hunters. So keep that in mind for later. Um... Meaning the backpacks that, uh... that grunts and ogres drop? Do they actually disappear in copper? I may have noticed that at some point and then forgot. Uh, ogres are helping. Uh, well, probably gonna die. Alright, didn't die. Uh, it's over here. Oh, that's where I came from. Wait. That looked climbable, but I don't think there's anywhere to climb to. I don't suppose there was any, like, health under here anywhere. This opens that shortcut at the bottom. He staggered a couple times. What dwells below? So that is your standard exit. But there is still more to this map. Um, I will say on that bridge encounter in particular, they were effective because it was like, alright, I need to pay attention to the sides. No, I need to pay attention to what's bloody in front of me. Um, yeah, this shortcut is open now. For the most part, I feel like it's awkward. <laughs> but then, I've never really been into the serious Sam games, so... It, it just, it's hard to take seriously. Because you know where they came from. And I guess it's not supposed to be taken seriously. 
But, like, I feel like in the middle of this otherwise very serious feeling episode, it's odd. It's like, oh, I didn't know Dwell needed comic relief. What the heck is up there? Have I been up there? Oh, are they basically like barrels on legs? Hmm. Hang on. Does that really not work? Oh, it does work. Speak of the devil. There was just one of them there. So there's some armor over there. That may be the entire secret. Yep. Okay, so there's obviously that other gold key. I don't remember where the door for it is, and I also don't remember how to open it. I remember where the secret exit is, I just am forgetting a bunch of other important stuff on the way there. There isn't actually anything in here, is there? Uh, actually... I'm starting to remember something, but I don't remember if it was actually... Okay, right. Um... Yes, there is something up there. I was forgetting whether it was behind the gold door. That's your secret exit. Or, no, it's it's where the secret exit entrance is, though. Also, super nail gun, that's useful. Okay, there is no other... Hi! Where am I now? I'm in... Okay, I'm right here. So, yeah. That's what you have to do. So, so the reason I said before to remember the, the commentary on the Underlift Secret Hunters is because Fairweather is normally very adamant about not doing Underlift Secrets, but he did an Underlift Secret for the Secret Exit. Um... I still want to think that's suspicious, but it seems like shooting it doesn't do anything. So, we know where the other gold key is, I just don't remember how I go about acquiring it. I mean, the thing is, I'm, I'm not going to play the secret level anyway, but I figured we would still, like, go to get the exit and everything, which... That part at least seems similar. I imagine that the, the new section of this map was the section that we got this gun in, the rotary shotgun. The rest of it seemed pretty much what I remembered. Uh, was there... Wait, it's that switch. I'm a freaking moron. I, I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember. Uh, we just need to get above that. Like, those enforcers are literally standing right in front of the answer to this question. And it's right under that bridge. Right, okay. I remember. So, there is a little outcrop here.
what could this be for? Yeah, I remember there being a comment like that, because it's like, I, or, because you don't actually, normally the gold, the second gold door is the last thing you would find. So you get the second gold key, and it's like, what? Although the other funny thing is like, I wonder if that's scripted so that it happens with whichever gold key you get second, because like, could you actually get, you could get that one first, couldn't you? Because the other gold key was here. So, I actually wonder about that. Alright, now where do we have to go to the other door that I'm not actually going to go through anyway? Uh, it should be around here somewhere. It's not this one. Well, I mean, I could go that way again, but no, I'm pretty sure it's, like, directly across. Yeah. You found the secret level, and that does count as a secret, so we got 7 out of 8. Like I said, I'm not going to play the secret level this time, though, because, uh, from what I've heard, it's not changed, and it is very long, and there is too much water and not enough oxygen. So I figure we can, we can make up some time by just uh, going through without the secret level. Still wondering about that door, if that does anything, but I guess it might just be for show. Sure. So this will take us directly to the next level. Yeah, Fairweather has definitely done a lot of cool stuff. And I'm pretty sure he's responsible for quite a few cool start maps as well. Wait, did I still miss one enemy? Oh, well. Okay. I apparently missed one enemy, which is probably related to that last secret. Oh, well. Uh... I think this is Marky's map? Am I wrong? I will know for sure- no, wait, the one after this might be Marky's map. I think the one after this is Marky's. Yeah, th okay, this is Henry's. Rude. At least think about self-preservation, Ogre, jeez. But yeah, this is where stuff starts looking kinda nasty. I didn't mean to say- I thought it was going to auto-switch me to the grenade launcher, but it didn't. <laughs> See, the one thing that would be cool if this were like an all-at-once quad shotgun is you could probably jib zombies with it if it were. I'm assuming that's not a thing with this, since it's one blast at a time. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we have traps here. Is there another... I thought there was another zombie. No, there's a backpack and some ammo. Alright, so we gotta go through here to come back out there, I believe. But it stops when I'm on this? Interesting. Three pillar. Oh wait, what? Shortcut lift a lift activated. Three pillars unlock this door. Look at this one poor dude down there. Okay, that did not give us the silver key. What did that effectively do? Also, despite the, uh, the tuning of rocket balance in copper, I still have a lot of rockets, actually. Oh, uh, did that open this? That opened this. Cool, I got both of them. Okay, you also get the rotary shotgun in this level. 
I don't know why I switched off of that. Like, that's... That is what I was using. I just accidentally fat-fingered the grenade launcher key, and that happened, so that was cool. Just accidentally look like a badass. I'll take it. It seems like I can go over there. Well, hello. That seems like somebody is angry at me. I just hit the wall. God damn it. Well, we're doing this again. Uh, that was poorly timed. Uh, there were rockets over here. Let's get those again. Okay. Let's save here this time. without dying this time. Uh, okay. Now how do I get back without dying? I guess from there? I don't know if that's supposed to be platformable. That was a waste. Okay, we're not dead. Where the heck am I going? And who was shooting at me? I guess I'm going over there? Rude. Oh no, well, I was almost dead anyway. I expected him to die sooner given that he got hit by a grenade and all. Hey, get back here. Just bloody wandered off, okay. Yeah, and I remember... I think I remember that particularly being very noticeable with Epics of Enmity. Like, you ended up absolutely tripping over ammo by the end of it. Where the hell are you, jerk? If I can get you earlier this time, I'll take it. Except he also wandered off again. There you are! Two backpacks were over there. Jeez. That didn't work. The jump over here is easy. The jump getting back seems a little more treacherous. There we go. Oh, this time the fiend was helping. I'll take it. Ow. Should have thought about that probably bouncing. That's not a wall, really? I can fall through there? That's crappy. You can't see a bloody thing there. And now I'm wasting all the grenades. Cool.
Yeah, I suppose from from you have to look that far down to notice the hole. From further away, it's a little more clear. But it's just like, don't put a hole there if you're not going to put light there. Alright, so where am I going, then? Over here. What? Nice shot, dude. Holy crap. That's an interesting thought. That opened this. Yep, confirmed. That definitely cannot jib zombies. Well, okay then. You've made your point. That did not work. It's okay, we've got health up there. And armor. Okay, so now we go back to the beginning of where that silver door was. I mean, I also let myself be hit there. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, there are some Vor fights that I handle better than others. Also, I'm trying to remember, this might be the map that had a secret rocket launcher or something in it. Uh, I might have just saved, but I'm going to save anyway. Because I'm not sure. Okay, here's the door. And here's the room with the rocket launcher in it that I was thinking of. Are those guys semi-transparent or am I seeing things? I have like no shells. I have all the grenades though. There are a lot of ogres. Also, I think I might have shells now. Oh, jeez, there's a freaking boar in here. Oh, well, that worked out. I missed most of those grenades. Cool. All right, that worked. There's a mega health down there? Kinda don't want to pick up this health. Okay, so we're barred in here. Yes, there is there is mega health right there. There is portal noises back here. Can I get down to where those ogres were? Yes. Oh. Another silver key. Okay. I don't know if I really needed that health. So this was something that I missed for the longest time. Also, this is timed. If I recall correctly. Yep. Okay. I think there's a faster way to do this. Yeah, that is not the way you want to do it. Um, how, I mean, I could grenade jump, but I'm trying to remember if there's legitimately a faster way to do it. Um, wait, yes there is, because there is another unrelated but helpful secret in this room. I just don't remember where the other secret is. Because see, there's like another level up there. Oh, wait, when did I open this up? That's the other level up there. Uh, yeah, so... That is how you get there faster. Except I need to remember... Ah, oh, I missed it.
Just need to remember where I'm going. There we go. So there's your two secrets in that room. And we have our rocket launcher. That took me forever to... I think I think Flecked or Mopey had to, like, sort of hint, it, hint to me that there was a, uh, that overhead switch on the ogre platform down there. Uh, also, those bars are still up, so I guess we have to go out that way, huh? Alright, so I guess I should take this now. And then we go out this way. And then the bar's open. Okay. Uh, oh, I probably don't need to be down there again. Where do I want to be now? Where was... Oh, wait, you know what? The other silver door is probably behind those three bars. And, uh... I still have another pillar to go before we, uh... can really do that. Okay, so the question is, what can I do now? I'm gonna end up wasting this mega health anyway. Is there anything else in this room I haven't done? The pillar was up there. There was armor overhead that I didn't bother getting. I, I suppose I could do that. Because I'm probably not going to be in here again. That's not what I wanted to do. Cool. Free fall damage. Even more free fall damage. Oh. Oh, that works pretty good. One rocket and one uh, blast from that, from the rotary shotgun. And there's a non-secret. Oh, well shit. Am I stuck in here? No, there's just dudes behind me. Where's the Vor? Okay, it was hiding behind other corpses. That's why I couldn't see the four. <laughs> so much for that red armor. I suppose it served its purpose, though. Okay. I don't necessarily expect to get all the secrets in this map, but I got the important ones. Interesting that you can see something up there. Might just be where I've been before. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, so when do I want to take this mega health? Because I don't want to just waste it. Okay, so now we can go through this door. Also, uh, gee, these guys... This probably happened to me the first time I played this, too. Of, like, I took the shortcut, which the level, you know, graciously gave to me. And then I just apparently ganked everything. wonder what other enemies it spawned, though. Like all these guys, for example. Okay, I think... 
think that's I think that's all. Dude, you're shooting through that thing. Come on. Does this look like Counter-Strike to you? That would probably be a good time to get that Berserk, but, uh... Like no, you're you're meant to get it now, probably. Uh, yeah, I was wondering where the fiend was. I'll take the mega health now. All right, well he's dead. There's another one. Seems to be mad at the uh, vor, but yeah, that's not gonna last long. All right, he's dead. Also, one thing to uh, note about, like you were commenting, oh jeez, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh god, there's two of you. Oh god, I'm definitely gonna die. I'm not going to die. Alright, cool. Um, one thing to note about Vores in Copper is I'm pretty sure their projectiles don't track quite as tight, so you can actually, like, evade them a little bit better. And also, I think once the Vores die, the uh, projectiles specifically loosen their tracking. Alright, so I already killed everything, so whoops, this is completely a waste. Although it would have been uh, kind of lost on the boards anyway. Alright, you guys, you guys get it. Because you're here, and now everything's dead. I know there was at least some green armor outside, so let me at least get that. I don't know if we'd be able to find anything better if I found any more secrets. I don't know if there's any other... Yeah, so that's, that's actually, like, the other open silver door up here that that's looking under. Uh... I could go in here for more rockets. No, it actually almost looks like there's another level up there, but I don't think that's anything. I think that's just for looks. I don't know if there's a point to that. So I think next stage is, uh, whoops, that was dead. so much for the health I just took. Maybe I should reload. Well, we need to, we, we, we get to overkill these two knights again. I didn't really end up finding anything besides rockets anyway. I just completely stealth killed that guy. Also, wow, my, uh, my wingspan is a little longer than I expected. Don't pick up the armor yet. Let's go pick up the rockets first. I got I got completely careless traveling back. Let's do that first. Because we've got the mega health, we can soak up the damage anyway. And then let's go get the armor and go back up the lift. Because I don't think I'm finding anything else. Have I been up there? I wonder if I can get up there. 
besides with rocket jumping. I mean, I do still have a bit of mega health. I could try this. Is there anything up here? Doesn't really seem like it. There's that thing. That doesn't seem to do anything, though. Alright, so I guess, I guess that wasn't really anything. Right, yeah, you can't use it against the Vores. It would have been funny to use it against the Shamblers, though. Uh, hang on, is there more stuff over here? There was actually more health over there. That could have been useful. Alright. Now. What are we up to at this point? I think I might actually take a, another break before we really get into this. I'm pretty sure this might be Marky's map. Uh, this seems like interesting music to uh, take a break with, so I'll leave you with that, and we'll be back in a couple minutes to continue. Okay, we're back. And, uh, thanks, Hopey, for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. You're probably not going to hear that right now, but it's the thought that counts. Uh, and I'll keep telling myself that. But let's head into, uh, I believe this is Marky's map, and uh, continue the episode. Uh, timer is rolling. Okay. Mm, this seems like a perfectly normal room. Yeah, so I remember seeing this stuff and just being like, holy crap. <laughs> when I played this uh, for the first time last year. So I'm not sure if this one will have any changes. that needs the gold key. Uh, I'm not going to take that right now, unless it forces me to. Looks like it's not going to. Oh, hi. Those guys are, like, semi-transparent, right? I know I asked that once already, but I keep seeing that and thinking that is indeed the case. Oh, hi. I was like, why can't I back up? Oh, because there's an enforcer in my butt. Really whiffed on that guy. <laughs> Another rotary shotgun. They really are giving it to you when you sever with a map sword. So yeah, like, that time I was backed up from him more, and it took, like, seven of the eight shots to kill him. Whereas if I'm close up, it'll take- it'll kill him in, like, five. So there definitely is spread. Ow. like, where's the other one? Wait for it. Okay, is this where I came from? This is... Uh... I think that's where I came from. Yeah, because that's where that health was. This map does not waste time splitting into a billion different passages.
I've, I've definitely experienced more claustrophobic maps than this. But yeah, the, the corner rooms definitely... Like, they'll surprise you with these things in close quarters sometimes. I don't even need those. like it has to do something eventually. So we got a key, a key door down there. And a lift shortcut that I did not engage, so uh, now we're down here again. Alright, well, yeah, I, I appreciate you being here. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. Hope you have a good night. And a good weekend. I will be back at this tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I'll, uh, I'm probably going to end up saving Mazu's map for tomorrow. I checked, and uh, my first playthrough without breaks, because I cut them out on YouTube, took me, I think, a little upwards of 12 hours. I think I'll be able to do it in one weekend for episode one, and then we'll focus on episode two next weekend, which may or may not may or may not fit within the one weekend, but that'll be the plan. So. This weekend will probably just be E1, if I had to guess. And maybe the bonus map or maps for E1, if, if time permits. We'll have a couple things to follow up on the start map tomorrow. Yeah, Ma <laughs> yeah I I have made various jokes. I, I made a joke that if Mazu participated, because like, so the Explore Jam 3 was announced at the beginning of this month, and it ends at the end of March, and I joked that like, alright, so if Mazu takes the full amount of time allowed within the Explore Jam this time around, he could basically make like, he, he could just model the entire planet in, in a Quake map in that amount of time. Yeah, Mazu gets a lot of stuff. To, I mean, and then there was the Prototype Jam 3, where he had an entire basement containing four maps. <laughs> And that jam was like two weeks. Granted, like, I, uh, uh, two or three of the maps were pretty short, but uh, still, that is a lot of effort to put in. <laughs> oh, is there still technically a map limit? I wondered with like the, you know, with BSP2 and Protocol 999, I wondered if there was still effectively a limit. Okay, what did I seriously overlook? <laughs> Now I'm just wandering around lost. This happened to me once in this map the first time I played it too, actually. Because so I think Dime raided while I was playing this map, and then I was like, where the hell am I going? But yeah, I appreciate you being here. I always, uh, I, I'm always a little bit hard on myself in terms of like, do I do a good job commentating? Some, t some nights are better than others. Ooh, what's down there? Probably figure out how to get there. Oh, okay. They they put that limit on it, I see. Where was that one thing that I went under before that I'm completely forgetting about now and just going in circles? <laughs> I still I keep ending up at the start again. Was it actually down here? It was actually down here. It's this. That's what I'm forgetting. Alright, let's check this a little more thoroughly this time. Did I not go through here? I did not go through here. There's your answer. Oh, is this actually... Yep, this is where I was. Okay, so these actually come down, or at least that one does. Uh, the place of many John Travolta's. Oh, he actually fell over. Okay. I'm gonna thunder. Nope, I'm gonna go to sleep. Also, yeah, for those new to the stream, I refer to Shamblers as John Travolta because if you catch one far away from you where they can't attack, they kind of do this thing, and it looks like that John Travolta in Pulp Fiction gif. Hmm. And a lot of water. Uh-oh. See, I'm... 
<laughs> I, I skipped JCR's secret map in this episode because of the water this time around. Oh, hello. Bars are lowering. Where did I see bars? Uh, was that there before? That's the bars that lowered. Why was I on the, the wrong save file? That's kind of weird. Okay, so that is indeed a secret. Now, what else have I accomplished? That is the question. Oh, hey. I didn't hit that. That's what unlocks the elevator. I walked right past it before. It was even lit up. It was trying to tell me, hey, dude, you should hit the switch. Uh, still not sure what's happening over here, though. Like, there is clearly an enforcer who is agitated somewhere. Oh, wait, I didn't go in here. That is also an elevator. There's the, uh, uh, probably one of these enforcers is who is making the noises. Alright. Definitely semi-transparent. Hello. I see you. Scrag playing hide and seek. Except he wasn't ready when the countdown ended. We have enforcers begetting Scrags, apparently. And we have Shambler Butt. And we have uh, not Shambler Butt. Okay, so now we can go through the silver door. Can I find my way back there? Actually, can I get back there from here? Because I took an elevator up here, right? Oh, but I can also just fall down there. Alright, that's convenient. That works. Uh, where was the silver door? Where was that elevator? Here it is. I just, I, at some point I accidentally saved over, I think, okay, what confused me before was I think I had the save file for the previous level here and then this one was there or something, I don't know, I did something weird with my save files, I'm not gonna worry about it. Ow! That was not good, holy crap. Okay, we got the not secret rocket launcher here. Alright, fortunately we will end up with armor very soon, so that'll resolve half of the situation I just landed myself in. Was there other health up here? Yeah. And that will resolve the other half of the situation I just landed myself in. Uh, once I remember where I'm going. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another shambler in here somewhere. Yeah, actually, I need that. Two of them? Huh. 
and just in time for me to run out of nails, but there's some over here. Um, so, so I, I realized something, um, very fortuitous about killing Scrags with the, um, with the rotary shotgun, and it happened once back there. Um, if you kill them in four shots, uh, you were, you were actually recreating classical music, because you were doing dun-dun-dun-dun. Well, that was bad. Uh, that also sounds bad, actually. Can I just go back this way and not be in there? Yeah, that sounds good. Can I, like, maybe find some health before I go back in there? That would be great. I mean, I already found the key. I don't know what the key's for yet, but... It's like, maybe just don't be in there right now. I took a lot of damage. Where are we in terms of, We actually are almost all the way through the map in terms of kills. There's health up there. Hang on. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this the first time I played this map. There are parts of this that give me Q3A vibes. I don't even remember what map this is reminding me of right here. I want to think... Mm, part of me wants to think Q3DM7, but I, that sounds wrong. Incidentally, I'm pretty sure... Marky does have a map that I did play, and I don't remember if it was part of another... It was probably part of... Was it part of EOE? I don't remember if it was that map. Um, he does have a Q3 DM remix. I forget. It might be DM... I want to say it's one of the teens, or like 11 or 14 or something. <laughs> And I had to go back and replay the original and remind myself. Oh, this is actually the beginning of the level again. Uh, which should mean there is mega health right here. Actually, I started up there, didn't I? Also, I have a rocket launcher. I should use it. This is not good. This is very not good. Yeah, they hurt. And I have no nails, so I'm probably gonna die. Uh, so that seems bad. Wait, when was the last time... That was the last time I saved. We're doing this again. Okay. That's probably fine. I could've... That hit me? I disagree. I definitely could have done better at this section, though. I should try to preserve my nails, though. See, that one, that one ended a little bit differently. That wasn't dun 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 dun. That was dun dun dun. We're still doing the thing where enforcers beget scrags. I didn't realize that. You know, I have a freaking thunderbolt that I haven't been using at all. I should probably do that. That that works out a bit better. Okay, let's actually save this time. It always gets me anyway. I need to just, like, remember that that's there. And immediately blow it up. I imagine you could also accidentally open the gold key door while all this stuff is still shooting at you. And that would be really bad. Because <laughs> then you'd have that and the kamikazes. Hey, there's also health there. All right, so there's the Mega Health. Here's the Gold Key Door. It's probably a good thing that I'm saving the Mega Health for now. Okay, 
Okay, I managed to not die that time. Is that door actually still opening? Yes, it is. Okay. So it was one of those slow doors, now you have to survive things. And I only found one secret. Feel a little bad about that. Okay, yeah, so that was the end part of the map. Well, the, the latter part of the map, at least. That was behind those bars. There's stuff up there. Is there a legitimate way to get there? Nice slope jump off of this, maybe? seem viable off of that. I don't know. Oh, it is. Holy crap. Alright, that's two secrets. <coughs> Have I been up there? There's something up there. I may have been up there. I think I have. I think I remember looking through that and being like, I don't want to go down there again. <laughs> That is also looking at the later area. Never took that, might as well take it now. I already got the secret here. actually use those now. Hmm. Oh, that might have been what I was thinking of before. Let's try going all the way up. Use those now, too. I would end up finding that little cutout in the wall up here, but maybe not. Can I get over there? I don't know that there'd be any reason to anyway, but... I can attack this. We might be here a while. Well... I mean, other walls like this were not attackable, so this seems like it could be something. But I wonder if I should find a quad or something first. I'm beginning to think it doesn't actually open. Interesting that that auto switched to the super shotgun and not the rotary. Hmm. Also, that's glowing. That seems interesting. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that looks like it should be destructible, but doesn't seem to actually be destructible. Unless something else can blow it open for me. that had the little cutout in the wall. Was it here? 
it was here. Which is right next to that. And that's the big room. So it's two over from the big room. Uh, the question is just in which direction. Okay, so this... Well, there's a, there's a couple of these. And I'm also not sure if this is actually too high up, but... Okay, so wait... It's too bad I have, like, no sense of direction here. Partially because I reload and it's like, okay, which side am I on now? So let's actually <clears throat> try to trace this. It might be nothing. See if that would dink or not. Can't reach it though. Oh, I can take those too. Now I'm forgetting where the heck I'm looking for. Is it that? It's that. Okay, so. Okay, this is the two of those. I didn't realize that. So yeah, okay, it's beyond the two wide rooms through that. to be beyond this in that direction. But how would I go about getting there? It hints that there basically being something like beyond here somewhere. Why is that glowing like that? That seems very, uh, suspicious. I suppose it's... Do, do these glow like that, too? I don't think so. I think that one is pretty, uh, particular about it. I don't know, I'm curious about that hole in the wall, but I don't know how to get to the other side of it. It could very well be through there, but I don't know how to break through that. What about under it? No, there's nothing under it. We have killed everything. I don't know. Should I should I no clip it? There is definitely something there. There's also a hole in the ground. Have I been on the other side of that? Wait, I have been on the other side of that. I remember that. I don't know if I remember where the heck it is, but... Ostensibly it ought to be in this direction, maybe? It seems wrong, though. No, yeah, it's this room. Um, so there is the question... Oh, hello. Oh! Does this go back up? It 
does, but you probably have to grenade it. Okay. We may have just found two secrets in one. Yep, we did. Suddenly went from 50% to 100% secrets. So, I was right to be bothered by this hole in the wall, but I kind of needed the hint. Because I was coming at it from 100% the wrong direction. Okay. Now we're ready to leave the map. I don't know if you can actually get back up there where those ogres were. It doesn't seem likely. Uh, so I guess... There's not really any reason to come back to this map since I did everything in it now, but... We'll drop the save. Alright, next is Pinchy's map. Uh, this I definitely remember. I'm gonna take another break, but, uh, I'm hoping... I seem to remember people having trouble with this one, at least in the initial V2 release. I might not remember this one so well, but I'm guessing there might be changes to it because of that. If not, like, well... Possibly both cause and effect. Like, there might have been changes that got people confused, and there might be more changes because of that. Um, but yeah, I believe this is the second to last in the episode. Of course, we, we did exclude the, uh, the secret map, since uh, my understanding is there's nothing really new in it, and it would take a very long time, so... In the uh, interest of increasing our chances of getting E1 done this weekend... Uh, just decided to skip that. So, uh, yeah. Let's do Penchy's map when we get back, and I believe that will leave us at Mazu's map uh, for tomorrow night, uh, which will be the, the final in the episode. Could take all night. That plus the bonus map or maps could take all night. So, uh, we'll see what we do there, but we'll come back and try to get through this map in a minute. Okay. Let's go ahead and get things started. I do remember, I seem to remember getting a little confused once or twice in this map myself. We'll, we'll see what happens this time around, though. That's right, Dark Star Triumvirate, I remember that name. And it's got the uh, very void setting. the zombie, though. There was a zombie somewhere. I heard it. Well, we're up here now. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything up here yet, though. Perhaps I should go back down. Okay, but seriously, where are the zombies? They're probably down there. That thing might eventually blow up by itself, but it's probably gonna blow up on me. Yep. There you are. Interesting place for a nail gun. That one's actually missable, it feels like. So there's a lot of spontaneously spawning enemies in this. What? Okay, well the good news is you don't die. I forgot about that. You get thrown down the laundry chute. I don't remember how you go about landing below that. Yeah, where's the dude? There's the dude. Good news is he can't move, so I can e hit him easily with explosives and not worry about it. That was almost invisible.
all the sprags in all the places. They just spawned in my forehead. Come on. It's a little rude. Alright, fortunately I think the scrags ate the Vorballs for me. There was another Beethoven scrag. Dun, 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 dun. Have I been over there yet? No, I don't think so. But there's also... Can you believe this guy is snoring while I'm walking all over him? No, I should have done that before I landed. That's neat. Alright, where's the vor? Alright, I lucked out with that one. My armor isn't doing too great, though. This feels very, uh... I probably said this the first time I played it. This feels very Unreal Tournament facing worlds. if those crystals were always in this map or if they're new. <laughs> oh, because I could look down all the way? Yeah, I suppose there's a bunch of, uh, of Q3 space maps, but the... Well, not quite obelisks, but these these really tall, like the towers here, are what remind me of facing worlds, and that is not what I wanted to do, but hey, it broke my fall and prevented me from taking uh, fall damage, at least. Alright, that just brings me back over there. Can I get to that? That, that seems rather far out for me to get to, but... Nope, I can. Okay, where did, where did you show up? Oh, up there. Oh, jeez. Alright, that works. this. Maybe I should look in here first? Oh, this is where that guy was. Okay. Yeah, so what is this? It has a key insignia on it. Where the hell am I, dude? Oh, that one managed to get over, but the first one didn't. Yeah, that's good. There's also something down there. I don't know if I can get all the way back up. Doesn't doesn't really seem like it, so I guess we'll see what's down here. Uh, do I remember this room? Where 
else are there? Oh, there's one right there. Just open that. Okay, and that lets you get back up there. That guy was not paying attention. Take it. Oh, I won't take that. I would rather not take that. That shambler seemed very uh, indecisive. Scrags helped soften him up. So I guess I'm going through that portal now? I mean, like, I could have gone there through that portal a while ago, it seems like. Can I get up there? That seems like it should be doable, but I'm not sure what magic is needed to do it. I'm also not sure what I would get by going up there anyway, so maybe it's not even meant to be doable. Oh, surprise, I just accidentally did that. I feel like there's supposed to be a thing you can do while you're falling there. Okay, so you can go back easily now. Uh, I haven't gone up there, have I? That might actually be what I need to do. I, sh I should have saved on that one. Oh well. It's fine. Yeah, so we had a, uh, a super shotgun elsewhere too, so... This map can be approached in uh, different orders, and that's why that's in here, too. Whoops. Uh, double whoops. Maybe, maybe like make those rays so you don't just accidentally take them while you're just fighting stuff. Also, did that just like open up now? At some point that was closed. Okay. Uh. Yep, that's your other key. I thought so. I think I ended up doing this one second, my first time through this episode as well. I don't know, I might be wrong about that, but I feel like I didn't notice that platform right away. That leads you up here. Maybe I just, maybe this was just in the middle and that's what I caught in the corner of my eye before, I don't know. Okay, so now I have keys, now what do I do with them? Uh, now I fight John Travolta, apparently.
Mm. Yeah, that seems kind of suspicious. But I guess it was nothing. Uh, do I have any good way out of here? Hmm, what's down there? That's probably where I started. Yeah, that is where I started. I suppose at this point that might be my way out, though. I can't believe that gave me fall damage. Whoa! Um... Surprise, this is what's underneath that elevator. Uh, in a way that's nice of them, so that that doesn't actually squish and kill you, if you do what I just did and aren't paying attention to where you're going. I can't believe I just missed that. Come on, dude. Okay, is there a way down there, though? That is my question. Is the point of that platform. There's got to be a reason it's there. Have I been there before? I don't think so. But also, there might have been something on that platform before. Maybe I did. Maybe I did get it, but I can't imagine how. Unless it was obtainable from here. No, I don't think so. But it's... This juts out way too much to be able to get to it from any angle over here. It does look like there's a side jutting out there, but it's not... It's not really jutting out. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work. Really not sure. I messed that up again. I cannot fathom there being a way down there. Alright, so where do we need these keys? Have I gone up all the way up over there? I feel like I haven't. Also, there's eight secrets in this map. I don't know if I'm going to find any of them. I never actually went over here. kind of lucked out with that. I'm very surprised none of those, uh, vor balls hit me. And, yeah, this is where we- oh, wait. I- did I speak too soon? Where did that one come from? I'm very confused. I'm gonna have to look that one up later. he was waiting for. Yeah, it must have been orbiting for quite a while, but then again, I have to remember that the orbit does widen when they die in copper, I think. So that's probably why. Is that... have I... been there? I don't think I've been there. And I missed. I'm here now. Question is, does this accomplish anything? I feel like I tried this once. 
my first time playing, and it doesn't actually accomplish anything. At least right now, it doesn't look like it does. Anything else for me to do up here? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, I can still exit. Oh boy, do I sort of maybe remember this? Yeah, this this is interesting. And those guys are kind of camouflaged in here. I feel like the lighting in here might be different than it was the, in uh, version one. I guess I'm gonna well take this. I like how that is conveniently a scrag-sized hole. What the heck is still thudding? Alright, I guess we're going down there. Can't do anything with those. Why is that pitch black? Jeez. That seems like it could stand to be lit. Oh, yeah, this place. I remember this. Now, the question is do I actually need two keys or just one? Just one. Or... Yeah, no, okay. The Eldritch Barrier weakens. You would think with all these key insignias that you would need multiple of them, but apparently you don't. I feel like the first time I played... And they just give you all the weapons, apparently. Um, I feel like the first time I played this... Oh, and you can warp out from here. I feel like I wasn't prepared with both keys the first time I played this, and I only had one of them. Why am I stuck? I am- I literally just walked over here, and now I am stuck. And I'm sinking. Okay, we're gonna reload that. Where does this go? That goes... back over here. Okay. Not interested in that. Well, okay then. I guess I can go down there now. Um, before I do- that didn't- that didn't land. Alright. Before I do that, I kind of want to check on one thing. That seems like it is still the same. I can't believe it's not fire blue that it was before. Is it still like that on the other side, too? Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of that changed either. There is a secret over there. I don't know... Well, well, I'm gonna bounce off it, apparently. I don't know if this is gonna really help me at all. Oh my god. How do you even land? I did it before. I'm, I'm not getting a long enough jump. <laughs> That's how I got the full damage, and also didn't land. There we go. Almost fell multiple times. Alright, just so we can say that we actually found a secret. What? That put me in here. Actually, where where is here? That was interesting. Of course, I don't think this is going to ultimately benefit me at all. Because it's going to run out before I get anywhere again. Is there a point to that? 
<laughs> I mean, technically there is. It is pointed on the top, but that's not what I'm talking about. I never know which way is out in that, because it's freaking pitch black. Alright. I remember there being, uh... Some stuff that happens in here. I have no idea what just happened there. There's a red armor. I was gonna say, where's the spawn at? Well, shit. Uh, I think the Vor was helping. Where's the Shambler? He can hit me through there? Wow, nice snipe. I have 20 health. Let's see if I can not screw this up. Yeah, there we go. That missed him? Wow, jeez. They're a little hard to see. I should probably save again. that was still in front of me. Well, this is bad. Uh, well, the good news is they're mostly dead. Bad news is I'm mostly dead. I am dead. There we go. Uh, glad I saved in the middle. Where was that last one? This encounter definitely needs more health. Yeah, this is not gonna turn out well. Because now we get the, sp the spawns.
One spawns underwater. dwells below, again. So we're done, but I have 11 health. That seems not particularly tenable. Also, there's eight enemies left. Oh, there was some health here. I wonder if that actually spawns between waves. Can I go back? There seems to be, yeah, a portal here. Okay, let's see if I can find some health. One out of eight secrets, though. Woof. Well, I really got ahead of that guy. But yeah, it's... Whoop, that did not work. You know what? Since we're here... I swear there's something up there, and I don't know if I can manipulate myself. Yeah, there's a, there's a place you can land in there. And I don't remember what the secret is to, to getting in there. The secret... Oh, that's cool. There's a whole bunch of, uh, the key turn-in room. That's funny. Uh, there's a whole bunch of shortcuts back. That's cool. I'm pretty sure there is, like, a specific part of the map that you can find that gap in, too. I just don't remember where it is. It's not up here. I'm pretty sure it's not up here. Alright, well, if we want to finish the map regardless of how many secrets we missed, which is most of them. Mm. Oh, that actually mm. auto-saves you again. Huh. Mm. Alright, well, my armor could be better. Mm. Actually, I because I... Yeah, because I ended up using more armor, I can pick that up now, so I guess we'll go with that. Uh, so we'll mm. save there. We'll jump in here. That is the end of that map. And next is Mazu's map. Russian's overload. And I'm gonna save it there, and that's where we will start tomorrow night. He added all those shortcuts in the patch. Interesting. Yeah, I couldn't remember if those were there in the original. Uh, it's a good idea, though. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. So, we made pretty good progress, as, as good as I had hoped to make tonight. So, we should be able to do episode one in the one weekend. And we will get to episode two the following weekend. Um, so tomorrow night we'll do this map, and if we have time, then we will also do... Um, there was at least one bonus map for episode one, and we'll see what's behind the door that requires at least one rune. Uh, so we'll hopefully get to those tomorrow as well, but we'll see how this goes then. I know the, uh, the final fight in this was pretty... Uh, pretty harsh even on normal difficulty the last time I played it, so we'll have to see how I do there this time. Of course, I do have this gun that didn't exist back then, so we'll see if that does us any favors. Um, but the boss is just very tanky, and there's a lot going on and a lot that can hit you, so we'll see how uh, we do with that. But, uh, yeah. Was it just that people were, like, forgetting how to get back to things? or Because I thought I remembered... I thought people were just, like, not even sure where they could go. And I think that did happen to me once with that map the first time I played it, with Pinchy's map, that, like, there was just a place I didn't realize I tr didn't try going yet. And, I mean, that happened to me a little bit tonight, but it was, like, pretty quickly resolved tonight. I didn't really get stuck in that map. I just didn't find many secrets. But anyway, this is where we'll pick up tomorrow. Uh, we are almost to the, towards the end of Episode 1 of Dwell Version 2. Um, I did skip the secret level because uh, I was informed that it has not 
really changed much since the uh, original first episode release. Um, and that one takes quite a chunk of time to get through, so I figured in the interest of getting to everything else, I would just uh, kind of leave that one be. We did confirm that the secret exit was still in the same place that it was. Um, I did go that far at the very least. Um, but yeah, we've gotten through uh, all the maps leading up to Mazu's map, which is... I want to say the last map, but actually... <laughs> um, it, it occurred to me to check the uh, Slipseer page for Dwell, and that actually does have a map list in it. You would think they would include that in the README, but it didn't seem like they did. Um, the stuff that's in the README is also included in the post on Slipseer, for that matter. Um, but, uh, I guess for anyone who wants to, uh, to read into it themselves, I can at least post this over in the Twitch chat, uh, quickly, since I have Chatty open. Um, but yeah, so, I, I remembered most of the mappers for Episode 1. I did not remember specifically that Pool Boy Q did the first map and Void Force did the third. I remembered most of the others. Um, but, in addition, there is an end map now. There was not an end map in version 1, so I was talking at the end of last night about how the the battle at the end of Mazu's map was pretty brutal, even on normal difficulty. That might change. We'll have to see. We'll have to find out whether the end of the map is different now that there is an end map to come after it. Um, the map listing also does confirm that there are indeed three bonus maps. Um, which matches what I was able to find in the start map. There was still one secret I didn't manage to find. I do kind of want to look around for that one more time as well. Um, but we're going to start by finishing up this episode, and we'll see uh, We'll see how much this map has changed. At least the ending of this map may have changed due to uh, the presence of an end map now. So let's go ahead and get back into things. going to go ahead and restart the timer. That's not how it was supposed to restart. I didn't literally mean restart. Hang on. Wait a minute. I can fix this. That is because I refreshed my dashboard, and that's what happens when I refresh. It resets that. Okay, now we're good. So we are here at the beginning of Prescience Overlo uh, Overload, not Overlord, uh, which is Mazu's map. Uh, I'm already pretty set as far as ammo for this goes. That may not last for long, given that the rotary shotgun chews through ammo pretty quickly. Now, let's look over here first. And there's 24 secrets in this. I'm probably not going to get all of those. that health pick up. What? Hello? I've got company. That grenade actually, it must have bounced off of something. To come back and hit me like that. have gotten very lively. Where'd the ogre wander off to? He's out there now. Okay, we finally took care of the ogre, though. I imagine this map would be a lot tougher from scratch start, since I wouldn't be able to just rocket everything. 
Although, they did give me the grenade launcher, at least, at the very beginning. There are so many directions to possibly go here. What? Also, every so often, there's just bouncing jibs out of nowhere. Oh, it's out of there, I guess? Yep, alright. Very good. Perfectly huh. normal. Oh, there's another one of you over here. How did he never bother me before? Well, he'll never bother me again. That is not a switch. You would think that there's something, some reason for me to be up here. Uh, hang on a sec, actually. <laughs> Not sure there's anything for me to really meaningfully do from there. Anyway, we've got places we can go. <laughs> Still following me, ow. out of 24. Good start. What about here? Uh, surprise. Didn't really mean to pick that up, but here we are. Where's the Scrag? Scrag was not really having much success up there. Oh, I feel like I might have missed something back where that switch was. Also, there's definitely portal noises going on here, but that's probably the thing that I landed beneath. I want to check that again, though. Well, first of all, does the front... No, the front does not go to the same place that the back does. Okay, so that confirms that. But I don't think it gave me credit for any kind of secret. So, I gotta figure there's more to be done here. There you go. Uh, I guess we're going down there. That looks like a nail gun. towards. Also, what did it say before opened? Way is open to inner chambers. Oh, hello. Alright, well, he's dead. Not what I wanted, but that works. I was hoping I'd get them before the quad ran out. Um. Uh, well, I'm, I'm down here. I'm. Alright, well, all I know is the fiends can't get me here. And also, secret. 
apparently. All I was all I was really trying to do is to get back up out of there. What about the other fiend? Wasn't there two of them? Are they are they both dead? I don't know where the other one is. The other fiend is just gone. I don't think there's anything on that side. Alright, so accidental mega health secret. Cool. Wait, where's the scrag? Oh, he's up there. How do I jump over to the. Whoop, then, then I bonk my head up there, I guess. Oh, that worked, and then I lost it. Okay, that does not count as a secret. Oh, this spot feels familiar. We got a Berserk down there, too. I wonder... Have we tried Berserk on zombies? That works. I feel like that was a complete waste, though, so perhaps I should save that for some other time. Okay, I think I hurt myself a bit. But yeah, there's there's plenty of use for the rocket launcher on this map. Has spread to other games. Wait, what do you mean? Also, I assume you're making reference to the serious Sam Kamikazes. The difference is hype mode doesn't cause you to explode. Doesn't really seem like there's anything over there. Although, what the heck is down there? I can't believe that worked. Lots of ammo for all the things. And now we're right back here. Yeah, I know what you mean by hype mode. That's the uh, the elevator glitch. I don't know what the exact inputs are, but yeah, it just you do like the death from above move, and he just never stops screaming because he gets like locked into that sound effect for some reason. Yeah, that was one of the... That is made for some of the best GDQ runs, was uh, PJ's Biocom Rearmed 2 runs. Because I remember, like, you know, that was before they took themselves a little too seriously. Ow. I ran into, like, every one of those bullets. Very surprised I'm not dead. However, I am very close to dead. Because I handled I handled the early part of that very poorly. Alright, at least there's some health in the couple of spots. Yeah, that's the kamikazes, exactly. I didn't even think of that though. <laughs> so, I mean you're not wrong. It kind of does have that, uh... I have to imagine that the kamikazes in Serious Sam probably predated Bionic Commando Rearmed. Of course, hype mode in Bionic Commando Rearmed 2 was a complete fluke accident anyway. Oh, uh... 
I would have died if I hadn't found that health. Can I just, like, sneak down here? There's got to be another one. Over there, I would assume. Oh, hello. What? What? Jeez. Everybody just hold on. Yeah, so you can see how much the spread affects this gun. It took me four uh, barrages from this gun to kill that Death Knight when it should take two. Good, trap disabled. Didn't realize that banked off the wall. Hey, Knife Rive, how's it going? Uh, that looks like a switch that I can't hit from here. And I need to do something to lower these bars. So we may have secrets on top of secrets here. Uh, so what did I actually accomplish by coming down here? Oh, nothing yet. We're going this way. Secret rocket launcher? We got another uh, Beethoven scrag there. Dun 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 dun. Oh, somehow I didn't get hit by that. Cool. I see. If you, if you pace it correctly, then that's actually not a problem. Oh, nice. Starting to put together a new PC. I'm still, uh... I tend to, I tend to just go the pre-built route, because I can't be arsed. Another Beethoven scrag. Um... What? Hello. Okay. I assume... Hmm, I don't trust that. How did he leap over here, exactly? I've, I've been, I've been like, putting off the thought of a new PC, or specifically a new CPU, is really the thing that would benefit me the most. Yes, that was indeed John Travolta noises. Where are you going? Uh, this is Dwell 2. It is its own thing. It, it plays on top of Copper, though. Uh, but this gun is, is Dwell 2 original. Okay, that works. The spawn didn't know where it was going. Um, so Dwell version 2, um, came out earlier this month, I believe? Was it in the month of February, technically? Uh, definitely came out this year, um, and includes a second episode now. Dwell v1 was the first episode, but I am replaying the first episode because there have also been changes to the first episode, uh, such as the inclusion of this weapon, which has actually popped up in a few of the maps. Oh, well, shit. It does traps disabled, but these things are clearly still opening and closing. And I'd kind of like to know... Oh. Kind of stuck. There's still one more somewhere. That that went way better than it would have without the quad. That's for sure. Okay, maybe I got all of them. What the zombie noises? That works. All right, so we. That feels very Doom Two or something down there. Uh, so yeah, we've got two portals. That we could potentially use. Is there a difference in 
and which one we go through. Where does this put me exactly? This is near the beginning, right? Yeah. And does the other one just go to the other side of that? Hey, bridge burner! Thanks for the raid. Welcome. How how are things going? How are uh, yourself and uh, Major Arlene doing down there? Yeah, so I think those just warp to either side of the beginning. Hey, was that? Yeah, that Mega Health was there. I didn't figure out how to get up to it yet. Hey, Prime. But, uh, welcome everybody. We're playing... Uh, this is the final full map in the first episode of Dwell Version 2. Dwell Version 2 came out recently, a few weeks back. Has had a couple of patches since then, so I'm playing, uh, the second patch release. And, uh... Version 2 now has two episodes, but the first episode has uh, some changes here and there that are kind of significant, such as this weapon, uh, which is the rotary shotgun. So it's been worth replaying. Oh, uh, I think we got uh, another shambler over here. Oh, jeez. I am out of nails. Okay, fortunately, there's some more nails here. That zombie kind of blended into the background. I completely whiffed on that one. Hey, Phantom Eye, welcome. And, uh, alright, Arlene says hi, hi, Arlene. Hope, uh, hope you're doing well. Whoops, there's a quad over there. Hello. I think, yeah, that didn't even get a shot off. Alright. I like it when uh, Vores don't get to shoot. Yeah, um, I was, I was saying earlier in the map that, like, this would be quite a bit more difficult uh, from scratch start, but all these maps are very clearly designed to be scratch startable. Ooh, do I remember how to get up there? Actually, yeah, I think this is how you get up there. I'm just gonna fail at it multiple times. There we go. That was not even considered a secret. This is Mazu, so it's like, yeah, that one's a freebie. <laughs> Mazu also always expects the tricky jumps. Did I go this way before? Uh, well, we're going this way again, apparently. Can I check over here? Yeah, I did, because that's where that hole in the wall was. Can I get back up from here? Yes, okay. This is actually where we should be going, I reckon. That's where the boar was. Uh, ogres are helping, sort of. Okay, it's a good thing that four balls uh, turn less sharply in copper, so that one just detonated behind me harmlessly. Uh, wait, did I already end up hitting that, I guess? Oh, not what I wanted. Actually, I should take that. Surprise, there's more laser traps. Backpack is down there. <laughs> oh, okay. No more laser traps. Now, I don't have the key for this door, actually. I need to find the silver door. Elevator noises for days.
Oh, that is where the silver door is. Okay, maybe now is a good time. I totally ignored that door uh, last time. It was kind of blocked from the columns. Uh, you're up there. Okay. Can I actually get up to where that dude is? I never went over here before. There's more than one of them, isn't there? Yep. And they're making fools out of me, because this is a very... Oh, okay, that... That was enough to finish him off, even from that distance. This guy's running a marathon over here. All right, that works. All right, let's see if there's something worth using this berserk power up on. Oh, I see. Um, so picking up that power up... ...spawns a bunch of enemies that you can't do anything about. With the power up. I think I just launched one of those shamblers clear off the stage, so that was fun. Alright, I suppose I should go face the music now. So yeah, you pick up the, uh, the Berserk power-up is new in 12v2, and it gives you, uh, I am told, 10x melee damage, and it also, I think it, like, halves the damage you receive, I think that was the other part of it. But, uh, it spawns a bunch of stuff up here that you can't actually melee when you pick that one up. Oh, okay, another free mega health. So this was saying this pillar can be lowered. I also don't know why I keep hearing door noises. Hey, what's back here? Oh, that actually moves. Okay. Where am I hearing this ogre coming from, though? Surprise, we got two mega healths. And also the armor. Uh, and also that. Alright. The question is, where am I actually supposed to be going here? Oh. You can go down there. Surprise. I've got all this mega health and all this quad that I don't know what to do with, and now I've wasted it. Like, I would kind of assume I'm supposed to get up there. I can't, like, ride the blood falls up. So, yeah, this seems to be indicating that, like, the gold key is found somewhere in here. Yeah, like, up there. So the question is, how do we lower it? I probably got confused here the first time I played this last year, too. Nothing down there. I 
also forget how you get onto those. I actually jump onto these. This is unrelated, but I'm pretty sure there's something that lowers those. So that you can actually jump across. See anything else interesting from here? Oh, right. There's also... That didn't work. Can I actually get something into there? I should have... I should have jumped on top and saved it there. Although, wait. Oh. Did I never hit that? Well, now I know what all the power-ups were supposed to be for. Too bad I used them all already. I thought I hit this before. I guess I didn't. Alright, so now we should be able to do something with these. But it is a little bit precise, if I recall. Am I supposed to be able to jump over there from here? Actually, there is a couple of things you can do in here. Three more to go, oh boy. I don't remember if I ever found all these in my first playthrough. I have a feeling I didn't. There's stuff up there. sure how I would get to. Mm. So I can get to it from up there. That seems unlikely. Well, okay, so it is true that there was no secret marked up here, so maybe there is more to this, if I can get up there again. It only took me like two tries the first time. Ah, got stuck by the wall. There we go. Uh... Is there anything? I'm not seeing anything shootable here. Wait, that's totally a different texture. Okay, now I'm up here. That is the rotary shotgun again. So that is this level's instance of it. Okay, and this is how you get up here. Might as well take it. Do I see any other switches, though? Not really. Wait. Got up there. There's one of them. Okay, 
so there was one up here. So yes, there was indeed more to that than just that little mm. alcove up there. Now the question is, am I supposed to be able to get all the way over there? Yes, I am. There's another one of them. Did I just waste an entire, like, shells pickup? Oh, well. Uh... And there's still one more. And the one more... is probably in there. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't think I can fit through there. Did it, like, not go in? There's there's definitely, like, a little gap. Oh, pfft. That certainly didn't. Now, that went in, because you heard the splash, so I would imagine that means it went in. Unless you needed to not go in. Which, good luck. There was a mod for dark places that didn't waste ammo pickups. Oh. Yeah, ammo and health. That's an interesting thought. Wouldn't it be nice if games would do that? <laughs> So I don't know what the deal with that is. I suppose I can try going up there and see if I can, like, fall into it, but I don't think I can fit in there. Yeah, I, I don't think Ranger can fit into this thing. Oh, never mind, Ranger can fit into this thing. Yeah, okay, I get the point, it's locked. Okay, you made, you made the point clear. Okay, so then what opens that? Can this be pressed again? No, definitely not. <laughs> By the way, did we tell you it's locked? It's like uh, Twitter and SMS two-factor authentication if you don't pay eight bucks a month. <laughs> So, what the heck opens that? Maybe maybe the fourth switch will open that. In which case, perhaps I should be looking somewhere else for that fourth switch. Where else Where else could I check that I have not checked? Is that up here or something? <laughs> Actually, wasn't that, wasn't that a line in... Uh, doesn't Caleb and Blood have a line for locked or something like that? I, I kind of want to find the last the last trigger in the in this area. So we found the one that was up there. We found one over there. We found one over there. Where would there likely be one more? What about like down here? I already checked in here, but I don't know. Did I miss something? Is there another openable thing? I feel like this is one of the secrets that I ended up having to, like... Kind of just no clip around and find out the last time I played this. Is there anything hiding on any of these pillars? It seems like they're all in this room. Huh. 
I don't know. This is already kind of getting out of that area. One of them was up there, though. What about out here? Hang on. Doesn't it seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Oops. Geez, I messed up the easy part. And there's, there's not like one on the internal wall there or something. I don't know. I need to uh, move on anyway. And I never actually went through those doors. Those are the doors that were probably making noise before that I just completely ignored. Hmm. Red armor. That's a lot of dudes. They're all dead? Okay. Do so I remember how to get that armor? Pretty sure there's some crafty stuff you can do, like, outside. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that's, that's how you get it. Can I get the secret without getting the armor? Yes, I can. I think I'll save that one. Those guys get unleashed for me getting the armor on? <laughs> That's also a secret. Surprise! Does that mean the other side is too? Try jumping to that side also. Nope, it's only one side. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we got that key. Uh, what's. What's gonna. What? Hello. Yeah, something's gonna break loose. Are you guys just gonna, like, keep spawning behind me? Or what? Huh. Alright, so the yellow, or rather the gold key door is up the elevators. I got stuck on the wall. I wonder if 
wonder if there's one on the other side too. Mm. Doesn't seem like it. This is definitely nearing the end of the level. I don't know if I want to go up there just yet. Let's just take all the fall damage possible. stuff that I should have checked out back here that I didn't. There was a mega health at the beginning of the level, too, that I never figured out. So I don't know why these stairs exist. The way they're extended like that. I don't know if there's any meaning to that. where the level began. No, oh, can that can that mega health be obtained via a slope jump? It seems like asking a lot, but Seems like it's not possible at that angle. Also, there's shells over there. What the heck? And there's health over there. There's also seemingly a door right there. Maybe I should be seeking that out instead. I did come up here before, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a freaking switch under there. There you go. Now the question is, can I get over to these platforms from here? This, this seems extremely unlikely. Nope, it's possible. That is not a secret, though. Let's see if the other side counts. Oh, jeez. Nope, neither of those count. Okay. There's actually a whole bunch of armors that I just... I haven't bothered getting I believe I did get up here before. I don't know that I ever figured out the other side. So I don't know if there's a way to get up there. I would really like to go back and find that fourth shoot switch. Oh yeah, I never figured out this either. Never figured out what unbars that. And there's that down there. There's... Uh, Mazu is really good at, like, giving little hints that, like, hey, there's this thing around here that you should find. Mm. 
So I never did try falling into all these to see what happens. I assume nothing good happens. Yeah, I guess that actually kills you. Oh no, it actually just spits you out there. And there's just, like, random pits all over the place. The funny thing is, like, you can... You can disable the laser traps, but you can't disable the pits. Uh... Hi. So that's rude. Um... And this one tells you to actually go down there. Okay. There's also another... secret waiting in there. And I wonder if I should be able to get up there somehow. Anything I can shoot from here? Unless there's something I can do down there. Mm. Oh, that's what I keep hearing. <laughs> get over to there? That seems unlikely to work. Nope, that'll work. Okay. And there's also more stuff down there. Where was that other area? I'm just kind of like revisiting stuff because otherwise I think we're nearing the end of the level. I'm pretty sure I already got what was over there. That I kind of got. What the? Hi. I was wondering where the uh, Death Knight sound was coming from. I have no idea where he showed up from, though. Did I go over here? I did not go over here. Another one. I, I don't know where these guys spawned. All right, so this is the area four switches with the one that I'm missing. <clears throat> I really wanted to think that the fourth one would be in this alcove, but it sure doesn't seem like it. Unless there's another one up there. Where did I have to go to get up there? Not here. <clears throat> so there's only like 50, less than 50 enemies left, so we know the end of the level had to have changed. Unless, I don't recall if they were like scripted in so that they wouldn't affect the enemy count. <clears throat> like, so that they wouldn't show up in the enemy count initially. But I'm assuming that the end of the level is changed. So 
So the one was what over? Here? Was it over here, or, or was it actually here? Must have been up here somewhere. Mm. That's a switch. Didn't even look like a switch from where I was at. I thought it was just more jibs or something, but mm. nope, that was a switch. That's where the fourth one was. Okay. And then that opens this. This is why I saved there. If I I got in there first try last time, even when I thought I wasn't supposed to. Eventually we will get this again. There we go. Now what? Bio seat? Okay, that's good. Because we seem to be in some sort of uh, chunky maze. I thought there was a fish. Uh, there's worse than a fish. It smells like cinnamon. Oh, well, we got a super nail gun, apparently. Spice. <laughs> Pure, unrefined spice. Okay. What is this quad supposed to be for? It's just there. But I don't really have anything to kill with it. either. Well, we have half the secrets, that's something. But yeah, there was no way I was going to manage to carry that quad all the way back. Yeah. yeah, since it was the last thing I found. Yeah, that's true. If I hadn't hit that switch in the back of the area yet, or uh, area yet. If I had managed to discover that secret first, that probably would have been super useful. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't get that red armor. I should go back and get that red armor. Or I could just get the yellow armor that's right here. I'm lazy. Alright, so let's pick this up and see what trouble we get ourselves into. Seems like a battle took place here. Another time, in another time, in another dimension? Who cares? It's time to end this. Is that supposed to be a self deprecating reference? There's even more armor. the sacrifices. Is that what starts it? That's what starts it. Yeah, those guys weren't here before. Since they didn't exist. I should probably get rid of some of the boars. I realize there's a quad there.
Okay, so yeah, they definitely uh, replaced this fight compared to what was in version 1 of Dwell because there is now going to be another fight after it. There you go, we killed everything. for mostly everything again. There's cells anywhere in here? Yeah, there were. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, that they were self-referencing the battle that was removed. <laughs> yeah. I'm I I'm pondering oh actually I didn't know that respawns. Well isn't that nice? I could have probably used that earlier. Oh well. Um but yeah, I'm, I'm contemplating, do I go back for the red armor? They'll probably end up being a red armor anyway. Oh, hey, look, there was a freaking berserk power up here that I didn't notice. Does this make me go faster? So if it makes me go faster, then that's still worth something, just for the backtrack. Do I remember where the red armor was, though? Uh, it was where we got the gold key. So, provided I find that again, which should be through here. Then, we go around here. I was planning on falling into the frickin' liquid, but missed. Alright, so now we need to go back up the elevator. I am not gonna worry about the other 12 secrets, although we've definitely laid eyes on a few. I would have at least liked to have figured out the one behind the bars. near the first laser trap we found. I think it was the first laser trap we found. Also, I wonder if there's any secrets up here. Where, where exactly is... That is where we got the gold key. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of curious if any of the secrets might actually be in this arena. But I suppose I'll move on and we'll see what the end map is like. It still took me almost an hour in game time. But... <laughs> It's funny to see even Flex being happy about them replacing that end fight. Seize the Ankh and end this. And the name of the map is Ankhs for the Memories. Very good. So how far... Can I actually fall off of this? Yes. Does it kill me? Nah, it just warps me. Actually, it kind of warped me forward a little bit. Okay, so, no, it was worth going back for the red armor, because that's a yellow armor. What? Why is that making sounds? Is it just because it's, re yeah, it's lowering the height of that? I guess that's what the sounds are about. I was wondering if they were forcing you to do that, or... Oh, that thing? Hmm. I don't know, just some guy, I guess. So, you're gonna be totally groovy and let me take this and not have a problem with it, right? Uh, I think you might have a problem with it. I think he 
you may very well have a big problem with it. Whoa, that was a nice jump. See? Phase two, maybe? I just shot at a mega health. Whoop, hell, hang on. <laughs> he interrupted him. That's hilarious. Also, you can barely see those guys because they're semi transparent. This feels slightly reminiscent of Marky's map. There are no secrets in this, huh? Alright, that works. So, okay, the Mega Health is effectively free. There are no secrets in this map. I did just say that. But I was gonna check anyway. That's a new power up. We begin to channel unbelievable speed. Except it doesn't affect my movement speed, it only affects my weapon speed. I like the clock sound, though. That's pretty cool. I know Marky posted something about uh, how he made these new uh, power-up sound effects in the Quake Mapping Discord at some point, and how he uh, tried to like make them true to the, you know, the sound design of the original Quake. Hmm. Is that actually a warp? Oh, the ammo here actually regenerates, huh? Okay, that's generous. Yeah, I think that is a warp. That's where we're headed. The The scenery of this is super cool. Also, I'm trying to remember. Let me double check. Did Fairweather make this? Yeah, Fairweather made this map. Uh, I see. Are we going to fight him again? I, I like how enemies keep hitting the, uh, the kamikazes. Phase three. The ground shifts. I feel the earth move under my feet. Didn't really need that armor right now. Enforcers haven't had them in a while. having an argument. Surprise! That time the ground shifted. Uh, 
stuff. The ground is still shifting. Battle elevator time. Oh man, you could get crushed if you're in the wrong place here. like our portal again. Yeah, I'm planning to save before I go through the portal. I've been trying not to save, like, within the sections. But save in between them. Anything else I missed here? But yeah, this is an interesting uh, boss fight. I see, we're getting into serious business now. Um, fours are helping. Where are, where is the four? There it is. There is more than one. Is the fiend still here? Yeah, he is. We're still not done. Oh, interesting how it softens the fall at the end. I was thinking maybe I should have saved after that phase. Ow. That thing's not done yet, is he? still up there. I don't know if I got him that time. Hang on, where's the other one first? Wait, what? Sequence completed. What did I even do? did it again. I need to, every time I think I'm clear to use the rocket launcher, I end up being wrong. I need to just not use the rocket launcher. It's like, Kenny's rule, if you have a quad and you have, and you decide to use the rocket launcher, it will not end, end well.
Let's save, screw it. barely see those guys through there. That's a little problematic. I mean, like, you can see where the lasers are coming from, but you can't really see the enforcers that well. Alright, time to save again. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I guess there's nothing left to do but to go through the portal. Let me just see if there's any other ammo that I left around anywhere. Actually, it kind of sounds like nothing respawns in this area as opposed to the earlier ones. Well, maybe... Mm, no, I took the health from this side before. Alright. Oh, we got pillars now. Does that mean it's on? Are the ogres helping? Hang on a sec. Actually out of Thunderbolt ammo, but he's also dead. We did it. And we killed everything. So what did I say? Leap into the warp portal to leave this place. There was also more armor out here, surprise. Anything else interesting in here? Alright. Uh, that was definitely a much more interesting and also, I would argue, much less problematic boss fight than what was in V1, honestly. Was the name of the boss ever mentioned? Um... No, but what we can do, what we can attempt to do, is... Let me go through here. We can attempt to perform science. I can get him to kill me. It's taking a while since I have armor. The boss itself is is not the Awoken is the name of the boss. I'm. Was that the same name as a much earlier Quake boss that we've seen, or am I thinking, or was it something else? Because I'm trying to think of, like, I don't remember if it was, like, something by Tronin back in the day or what. Did that also have the Awoken or did that have something else? <laughs> but, alright. We are done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save over that now to make room. Really cool boss fight, though, like I was saying. And seemingly much more reasonable than the one that used to be at the end of Episode 1, in Version 1. Oh, we've got congratulatory text. Entering the warp tunnel, you feel the sands shift back into entropy, their wretched god machine buckling under the absence of the life energy exploited to sustain it. You feel time and space crumble to dust, dimensions being constructed and obliterated right before your very eyes. With tendrils gripping at your soul, you are saved from oblivion by forces unknown. They made that text print faster, I think. And now we are back here. What the... What is that thing doing right now? Uh, meanwhile, 
this opened. Um, maybe not worth saving. At least not yet. So this is what required a rune, and we do have a rune in the in the status bar now. I don't know. I might be blocking it on uh, on my stream. We do have a rune in the status bar now. And they are custom rune logos, they're not the original four. And there's only two since there's only two episodes yet. Oh. Thanks for playing. Well, we're not done playing yet. Alright, I have a guess as to which one of these... Oh, let's, let's, let's take a look. Hey, Ayago. So we've got... <laughs> Macon is just a, a freaking set of, like, trim sheets or something. It looks like. Professional wall trim designer. Uh, Pinchy. Wedge bed associate. <laughs> uh, JCR. Coconut. That's right. So because I didn't play the secret map, we did not get to see Coconut. I'm pretty sure Coconut makes an appearance in that map. Uh, Henry. British. Cool boy. Apex, uh, Apex Twin Fan. Dan's literally a doctor. Marky. Michael with the E and the A transposed. Uh, BMFBR Mestre da Pizza. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I know which one of these is Alex. Uh, YTuber correspondent. See, uh, right, YTuber. VTuber correspondent. I don't know why I misread that as a Y. YTuber, now I'm never gonna live that one down. I did I did say he was a VTuber aficionado when I uh, when I read the README before, which I don't think it actually said that in the README. I'm pretty sure I added that. Uh, gonna go ahead and guess that this is Fairweather, yep. The Procrastinator. Uh, wait, what? That's not Fairweather, that's a ball. Scope Expansion Team. <laughs> They, they should, uh... Shouldn't that just be shortened to Scope Creep? He's the, he is the Scope Creep. Uh, Mazu, employee number 37, of course. Uh, Void Force, Mad Code Maniac. Lunarin, Idiot Wrangler Extraordinaire. Josley, Chief from its Officer, it makes sense. Uh, Toying <laughs> Pedant and Chief. Uh, Shambler Knot, Wrath Fan. And Greenwood, resident Florida man. So there's your staff credits. Of course, we're not done playing this yet, but this is this room unlocked now that we have completed one episode. Now we do have a bonus map to check out, but before we do that, I do want to take another look around to see if I can find the one secret. Wait, hang on. Okay, that's not it. That is a solid lift. I hope that comes back down. Okay, good. We're not we don't live here. But yeah, I want to see if I can find the one secret that I didn't find. Given that we know it's not another map, there's only 3 bonus maps, not 4. I don't know why there's 3. Like there's there's one for episode 1 and two for episode 2. Does that mean there will be 3 for episode 3 and 4 for episode 4? I don't know. Um But yeah, so it occurred to me it occurred to me to check one thing again. Which is to come up back up here and look at this place again. So this is where we unlocked Nightmare Difficulty, but I'm kind of curious. Like, there's a lot of room for potential stuff up there, so I wanted to see if there was a way up, and it's probably not going to be over there. We do have inclines over here, though. So maybe we can do something with that. And actually, maybe I will save at this point. I don't know if this will lead to anything. Uh, and I'll probably fail at it multiple times. Can I back into it? But yeah, that, that might work better. Uh, what, where the hell am I now? What have I done? Well, at least I could salvage it. That'll work. Okay. Can I do anything over here? No. Can 
I squeeze in over there? No. Is there anything different on the other side? it up. But wait, actually, can I just, like, jump onto that from here? Uh, I can. I don't know that there's anything here. Oh, but I can get up here, which means I can get up there. That might be useful. Yes, and now we're effectively on top of here. That seems important. Maybe. Uh, what's that? There's a vent. But I can't get into it this way. But this is sloped. I wonder if this is too far away to do that. Because it would be safer to do it from here. Uh, that totally worked. Alright. And then there's... There's some ledges over here. And oh my god. Wait, Ziggy's not in the credits for this. Isn't, isn't the mailbox Ziggy's thing? All right, well, we got to get over there, clearly. Uh, this seems like an extremely long jump, though, so I'm kind of thinking... Nope. Should I just should I just go for it? Apparently. I wish I could huh, too. <laughs> what? Oh, it's Ball's thing. Oh, well, I blew up. That's Ball's thing? All right, why did I, why did I get confused and think that was Ziggy's thing for some reason? I guess I didn't remember- Oh, that's right! I was trying to remember the last map that I saw this in, and it was probably one of Ball's Christmas maps, so that- that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, my brain got scrambled. Uh... That didn't count as a secret, though. I want to try to get over there again and see... Man, how did I make that jump? I almost made it. I mean, I suppose I could blow it up from further away. That would probably be the safe thing to do. <laughs> so he is like ball but green. Oh, does that just explode the entire place? That's actually pretty funny. Like, even from that distance, I still blow up. So, uh, don't break the mailbox, apparently. All right, if that's not the secret... <laughs> um... What else can I do up here? Because, like, each of the bonus maps is a secret. Um, Nightmare difficulty is a secret. But there has to be a fifth one. And it's not that. I just want to double check. Like, it didn't... I'm pretty sure I did check when I was over there. I am so inconsistent at this jump. And I just accidentally loaded the wrong thing. Yeah, no, it doesn't count. Well, I doubt there's anything meaningfully above this. I think this is probably the highest we're meant to get. That's not gonna work. Alright then, I might as well... I wonder if the other side... I wonder if there is anything on the other side. back out the way I came in. Mm. Seems like maybe not. Did the stream just go nuts for less than a second? Uh, I don't know. Did it? All I know is it's still running over here. But if if it did, then uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to catch it. I can't get back in there from this side. Mm. 
That really seems like I ought to be able to get back in there. I, I would rather not have to do this all over again. I mean, I could no-clip it, but... There we go. Alright, is there anything on this side? No, see, that one is intact, so it was a one-sided thing. Unless, of course... Unless there is a reason... ...to actually go all the way around. I realize- I'm sorry, this is probably super annoying. Because I keep reloading, and it keeps restarting the music with the same note every time. I don't know, kinda doesn't look like there's anything on this side, though. Yeah, the side looks clean. It's apparently really hard to hit that from here. Oh, it didn't blow me up that time. Did it actually do anything, though, is, is the other important question. Also, why are those things not on right now? Let me try to let me try to blow that up from a slightly less inconvenient location. No, uh, I guess this was the location I was at, wasn't it? Do those just turn on when I actually get down here? They're still not on. That's interesting. Is this too close? I'm not really hitting it. Let's try to do it from here again, I guess. Wait, where? That's not where I did it from. It had to be further away, though. I don't know where the hell I did it from. I don't know whether. Oh, so I guess when you come over here, it specifically triggers that, and I guess if you reload. Is that actually a way to cheese that? You could just reload and it stops doing the thing? Alright, well, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be too close. This will probably blow. Yeah, that blows me up. Did I manage to hit it from before? It was here, wasn't it? Nope, that was still too close. I don't know how I managed to blow it up without it blowing me up. That one time. I don't know if that was a fluke. So I was thinking, like, with that strong of an explosion, you would think it would do something. So, Iago, you're saying you know where the other secret is, but you don't know how to get to it. I was thinking that must be it, but when, when I saw that mailbox, I was like... Because, I mean, if it's not up here... At any rate, we found something, but it wasn't the fifth secret. Let's go play the bonus map, I guess. Uh, I don't remember which one. I think this is one of the episode two bonus maps. Yeah. I don't remember which one was the episode. I think the one at the bottom might have been. The one at the beginning was also in episode two. Could be wrong, but let's check this one first. Mm. Yep. Oh, geez, and it's a Mazu bonus map. Actually, I think two of the bonus maps are by Mazu. Um, yeah, so this is one of them, and then... Uh, so this is Dwell DM3. 
And then Dwell DM7 is also by Mazu, and then the other bonus map is by Henry. Uh, I might as well take a break before we get into this, since I don't know how long this will be, given that it is a Mazu map. Uh, so, let's find out in a few minutes. Okay, let's check out this uh, bonus map. I don't know what to expect with this, so uh, we'll find out. Given that it has a DM map name, I'm assuming it's going to be somewhat of a, like, conquer-ish affair or something. But, let's see what we got. Well, there's 174 enemies, right off the bat. And we start with nothing. Check that, we start with a nail gun. Oh boy. Ow. And out of nails. Wow, managed to kill two Scrags at once with this. Very nearly hit me. Seems like a good time to use this. I managed to get him before it ran out. Why did that take like five shots? Uh, suppose I should drop a save. Ah, that's lava. All right, don't go in there. Actually, there's stuff there. Nail gun is a little hard to take seriously with the speed power. What? He must have shot from like right below. Uh, so we got Berserk. Where's the ogre? Up there? I don't know how that didn't hit me. Hmm. Alright, so the Berserk is in there. Oh, it's even auto-saving, okay. We got keys, huh? Alright.
Okay. There are nine secrets in this. I did not expect secrets in what is supposedly a DM map. I'm assuming the secrets might not exist in the DM version. So, I found a silver key. I don't know where that gets used. I don't think I've seen a door for it yet. Yeah, I thought that was a boar foot. And it's not for that. That's right. I did see this before, didn't I? Hey, West Rider. Is this actually a remake? Is there more meaning behind the DM3? Are you serious? Wow, alright, I wouldn't have known that for sure. Where is the Vor? Alright, that hit him. Not gonna complain. Is the Vor down here? Yes. I was wondering when I would get the rotary shotgun. Jeez, you're all the way up there, dude. Okay, I'll settle for that. Uh, so, lower barriers, huh? Oh, such as that one? That's uh, interesting. This is... Isn't this... Uh, well, this is at least mildly reminiscent of Q323. Seems a bit busy, maybe I'll come back later.
Yeah, the, the main feature of Q323 is there's three ramps in the central room. Although I forget whether... I do feel like the... Oh, you know what, though? I, I think they might be opposing each other in Q323. Uh, I, I forget. I forget if they're all facing the same direction or if they're, like, one in the center is going the opposite way of the two on the sides. But it would be interesting if this is actually remixing multiple... Uh, that is another key. I see. I'm not ready to go in there yet. Let's look around. Shit. What is this? I have never seen this weapon before. The Crystal Lance. Oh crap, where did the, the spawn fall? No, it's right there. Okay. Okay, so we know where we need the gold key for. It's for that. I'm, uh... I'm wondering if I should have waited until I finished both episodes to play the bonus maps, because <laughs> for this to be the first place that I find a new weapon is a little eh, anticlimactic. Yeah, I would assume it's like a railgun. I would assume it's kind of like... There was a uh, crossbow or something in a few older packs, and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm assuming it might be like that. How much ammo does it have? Oh, it uses cells. Alright, we'll have to see how many ammo it uses per shot. Yeah, it's a real gun. Massive teleport signature detected. I missed that, really? And it does pierce things. Find the way out fast. Wait, you don't want me to actually fight things? Now it's going to turn into a conquer experience, I guess. Wait, there's another shambler. This is presumably the way out. What the hell is that? Uh, that would be another new enemy. I'm gonna see if I can find health. So yeah, I, I guess the uh, the right call is actually to play the bonus maps after you've beaten both episodes. Otherwise, you're gonna end up spoiled as to new enemies. <laughs> Maybe you can kill them all, what a badass. <laughs> oh, I have no shells. Also have 11 health. GG. 
Okay, we're not done yet. And I'm a little worried about my uh, lack of ammo for anything besides this. So that only uses like six ammo or something. Oh, yep, he's got a grenade launcher, all right. Oh, there was a rocket launcher. Surprise. That works. I still don't have any shells. I only have 40 health left either. I mean, I, I could leave. If I find the room before they find me. Also, I did only find one out of nine secrets. Uh, hi. The thing seems to be having a problem. Okay, they're just like running into my rockets, so that's convenient. Oh, there's another Berserk pack down here. I mean, that could be good by virtue of re reducing the damage I take. Also, wait, that was a secret? That was a secret. Surprise. He's dead. Alright, there's technically two enemies left. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, also there's a quad right there. Hello. There's one of them. So, can I get over to that quad? Where's the other one? There he is. That's not a secret? I thought that might be a secret. Okay, and this is actually towards the beginning of the map. So yeah, I guess that portal section just must have opened up later. I imagine you're intended to be able to get to this... Qu well, maybe get to the quad from here? Seems kind of unlikely though, actually. There you go. Didn't count as a secret. What about those? Can't very well get to them now, but... Oh, hang on. Oh, that should totally work. Yeah, it's pretty cool that, uh, we got some Unreal references in here. Oh, I guess you were supposed to be able to get to it from here, too, maybe? <clears throat> Surprised none of that counted, though, as a secret. But yeah, I can see this weapon being entertaining to use, and probably more... Erg uh, ergonomic. More, more economical on cell ammo. Oh, hey, is that a secret? Probably not. I mean, it's right here. Nope, it is. Okay. But yeah, it didn't even, like... It didn't feel overwhelmingly like... A deathmatch map retrofitted into single player. Because, like, it's very easy for maps to feel that way when that's what's done. I mean, yeah, there's there's a very arena-esque nature to it, I guess, but it's not beating you over the head with it. Also, that wasn't that open before? Did that actually close at some point? Alright, well, um... 
The funny, the funny thing is, once I find the exit again, this this was the extent of what I had planned to get to tonight. I guess we can maybe actually start episode two. Maybe I should have tried looking for more secrets in, uh, in Mazu's map at the end of episode one. Isn't this where I'm going, actually? I can't, yeah, it's right there. What was over here? Okay, there was more armor over here. I completely ignored that earlier. That probably would have helped. But yeah, there we go. Because, yeah, I, w I was wondering if the bonus maps, given that they were named, like, DM whatever, I was wondering if they were going to end up being very arena-like affairs, but that was pretty interesting. Alright, so. Slipgate Drive 37. There's 37 again. It's not like Mazu did the entire episode or something. Did this one say anything? I don't think this one says anything like that. And it does rec recognize that you completed it. Does it actually let you restart it? Like, can I actually just walk into it again? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Meanwhile, I still don't know where the fifth secret is. <laughs> um, but yeah, episode two, The Sunken City, a once great civilization now sunken deep below the earth to live again. So is that supposed to be its own plot line completely separate from this one? Or is it act oh, it, you can't read the, uh, can't read the summary on that anymore now that it's completed, unfortunately. I have to wonder how different this will be than the first episode. Um, but I guess we can go ahead and find out tonight. Um, I'll take another break, and then we will, uh, go ahead and start on episode two, I suppose. But I suppose I'll also record this time down for episode one. It's a little bit biased because I did skip the secret map. We will be looking for the secret map in episode two, because this will be completely new to me. Whereas episode one I was f at least somewhat familiar with from playing it a year ago. So, episode two could very well take longer. <laughs> um, we'll see uh, where we go with where we get with that uh, when we get back here. <laughs>